Should I be putting on pants for this? Oh. Uh, depends. Will your waistline stay below the camera line? <laughs> no, I've got pants on. It's okay. <laughs> uh, hello, oh, ladies please. and gentlemen. Welcome. Is uh, episode uh, one of them? What's on the? It's episode yeah. eighteen of Strange Aeons. Uh, welcome. Uh, where, where we last left off. Upon awakening uh, from their previous jaunt of uh, delving into the dreamlands, uh, visiting the lost caravanserai and, and many people dying in their, in their dreams, with Balthus having a long conversation with a man named the Yellow King who revealed a list of seven items that the party must procure to present to the mad poet to win his favor. You got the first item on this list you chose to research was the Night Hag's Heartstone. After some choice research carried out by Gideon, it was revealed that the Night Hag's Heartstone had to be procured from a Night Hag named Quaviandra, dwelling in the city of Delathleen in the Dreamlands. Gideon, having discovered the extra stanza of the incantation required to be recited during the dream exploration ritual gathered the party and you delved into the dreamlands once more awakening in an opium den in the city of Delathleen there you met the night hag Quaviandra who made a bargain with the party that she would provide her heartstone in exchange for discovering which among her entourage was plotting to assassinate her Gideon using his powers of uh, reading people's thoughts with the tech thoughts suspected that it was her court musician a monk by the name of, uh, well didn't know she was a monk at the time, but a, a woman by the name of Kavrika who you interviewed in a private room. It turned out she had trapped the room and had swiftly deactivated it upon entering it with you guys and she was indeed plotting to assassinate Quaviandra to stop uh, impending enterprise of trafficking souls from the material plane into the dreamlands. You struck a bargain with Kavrika to assist her in killing Quaviandra the Night Hag uh, in exchange for being able to take the Hearthstone when you were done with her. You attempted to lure Quaviandra into the room with Gideon uh, taking the poison provided by Kavrika and converting it to a contact poison. And, uh, four of you ambushed, along with Kavrika, ambushed Quaviandra. She entered the private room. A melee ensued, a violent melee, in which many were wounded, but the five of you came out on top, slaying Quaviandra, uh, grab finding her heartstone, at which point you parted ways with Kavrika and woke up, re-entering the material plane. With Gideon and Balthus once again beginning to succumb to... Actually, did you pass... Your last will save, Gideon? I can't remember the one at the I... end of the session. <clears throat> I think I did. I think you did. I think I did. Yeah. Um. With G uh, yeah, the Balthus and Gideon once again attempting to stave off the curse <coughs> placed upon them by the ghastly shopkeeper from the caravan, Sarai. 
and the four of you rested aboard the cell and styling once more. So everyone can long rest, gaining seven HP. Uh, you can, if you need to spam any magical healing you have before resting, get everyone up to many full HP. Magical healing, so mm. if people actually I'm... need. I have cure serious wounds, so if I'm you actually good. need it, can you cast that? Gideon is fine. Um, sorry, Josh, I don't know why my video is not popping up. I've got video for everyone, including myself, up on Discord, but. Mm. Is no one else oh, seeing it's... my video at the moment? Oh, yeah. uh, actually, and I know what it, it's. And I can fix it. Because I disabled everyone's video the other night while I was. So it didn't uh, make me lag playing oh. Apex. So you just hated <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Here we go. Hello. <sighs> Okay. So, in that case, uh, I guess everyone is. If you have enough magic, get everyone back to full health. I'm. Um, yeah, I was still at yep. full health. Okay. I haven't come down. And then, uh, long rest till the next morning. So it's 7 a.m. on the. Sixth day. Of your journey towards the Selen Passage, and uh, the day is yours. Who was uh, still? Who didn't get psychic surgery and is still suffering from a lesser madness? Me. You're still melancholy, I presume, right? Yeah, I'm still hallucinating. I think, right, as okay. well, right? Yeah, that's right. It was Balthus and Gideon that got psychic surgeried. What would you like to do with the day? I'm still liking my fishing, and other than trying to recover from my psychotic breaks, I don't really think there's too much I can do. I'll assist with studying the book if I'm needed to, but I don't think that's something that I'm actively going to be doing. Do you have any knowledge skills? In... Are you trained in any knowledge skills? I don't think so. I've got plus seven in use magic device and plus five in spellcraft. Yeah, yeah. But... like you'd see it right there if you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You're unable to. You are uneducated swine. Well, Gideon, maybe being an educated swine, he is going to. Ooh. So we've done knowledge. We've done knowledge arcana. We've done knowledge. Uh, it's a new avenue of research today. So I believe you guys wanted to pursue the captain's tricorn item. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we feel like that, guys? Or do we want to go for something else? You know what? Should we just spend the day on the boat? Do you want to go? Do you want to go deep sea spear fishing? Oh, I'm fine with that. I feel that. Uh, Josh. Yes. Only cracking. We pull out. I was going to ask a question. Um, if we spend long enough. Uh, practicing a particular thing, could we become proficient in it? Uh, depends what you, what you mean. Do you, what, do you mean like a, a skill or a, a feat or what do you, or a language? I'm what trying you... to like fi I'm trying to think of do fishing. Yeah, I mean, so you're on this voyage you're on is going to be like at least forty five days, I think. If you're fishing every day, well, not not even necessarily every day. Like right now, you guys have been fishing for like three days straight. If you keep maintaining it through the voyage, um, not even at the same frequency, I'll just give you, you can take a, a skill point in um, profession. Profession, profession fishing. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, just keep yeah. at it. That's what I was intending to do. <clears throat> All right. I think Is there a bodybuilding profession? Because uh, <laughs> I might want to get swole. Just getting jacked. <laughs> What's the point in uh, getting jacked? I mean, I just subjectively know that uh, having uh, endorphins might, uh, <laughs> you know, improve the uh, state of mind I'm currently in, even though everything's fucked. 
So Gideon's yeah, going go. to be researching for the day. Oh yeah, Afo? I think we're gonna going fishing. Dive deep into the uh, fishing for sure. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm fishing as well. Right. Heimlich, what would you like to do with the day? I'll assist with knowledge. Okay. Okay, so the captain's research into the captain's tricorn location and how to attain it will be knowledge history, knowledge local, or knowledge planes. History. I'm going to go history, yeah. Uh, unless, uh, do we want to go to for separate ones? Oh. You, you don't have to do the same one, it's fine. I mean, Scott's, Scott's is, uh, sorry, uh, Heimlich is assisting. So it's just DC 10 for Heimlich to add plus oh, yeah. 2 to Gideon's rolls. So. Rolled an 11. Lucky. Alright, sweet. So, uh, 28. A, 20, so a 30. That was, that no, was... no, no. 30, 28 with the plus 2. I mean, oh, you with the plus well 2. Okay, gotcha. Fine. I can, right. I'm happy with the 30. Alright, 28. Alright, well, then, in that case, roll a D8, Gideon, and add your Ooh. intelligence modifier. 8. Nothing to show. No, but I just want to roll a D8. I'm just going to roll... Uh, there. No, stop. Stop it. What's that? D20? That's not what I want. I want a D8. 4 plus my intelligence modifier is plus 4, 8. 8, eight. damage. Alright. So 8 KP has been removed. So, you, s you rummage through Ezit and Lauser's books together in search of uh, some wealth of knowledge pointing towards anything related to the captain's tricorn. So you assume something nautical or uh, something military related. You find three books that stand out to you. Titled Emotions of the Past, The Shadow's Ship, and Voyage of the Rainbow Savant. Ooh. Sorry, servant. <clears throat> servant. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, you begin flicking through the books and over the eight hours of research you finally discovered that this tricorn that Laos attained uh, it seemed to have belonged not to a human pirate but to a denizen of Lang named Captain Vadrak Captain Vadrak is the captain of a longship named the Bloodwind, a slave ship. Although the slaves Captain Vadrak acquires are usually never seen again. Mm. What was the ship name, sorry? The Bloodwind. Uh, as you look through some of the other books, not those three, um, the Denizen of Lang are uh, standing out to you in particular. You find some research that Lao's conducted into this place, the Plateau of Lang, and the beings that live there. You discovered it's, uh, the Plateau of Lang is a, a great locale lo uh, in the north of the Dreamlands, where these Denizens of Lang, as the inhabitants of this Plateau of Lang are, are, are known, um, strange alien humanoids uh, that are known for crossing into the material plane as well as traveling around the dreamlands often interfering and influencing the lives of mortals and others in strange ways appearing as ambassadors or or advisors renowned for their rubies that they mine on the Plateau of Lang. You find an illustration of them. Gideon, you realize you've seen this particular type of humanoid in an illustration before on one of the cards, the playing cards that you found back in the asylum in the room where you fought uh, old lady Loomis, the bag lady. You... you I can't remember who was carrying the <clears throat> deck of cards, but someone. You, I would have been. I think you would have been. You produce a deck of cards and flick through them, and you find the card you were thinking of. 
stood out to you the mm. first time you saw it, the illustration being particularly fine and artistic, depicting a, a strange, slender humanoid with grey skin wrapped in leather cloth that seemed to be carrying a, a, an armful of large red rubies in the illustration. Over the eight hours of research. Figure of what cloth again, sorry? Sorry, it's uh, wrapped in like leather cloth. Similar to the spooky boy who attacked us. Uh, no, no, he was in like bandages and... Okay. Like, not not like the tat tatter man, but uh, very... Not a mummy, traditional. No, no more, more um, like a desert outfit, kind of. Ah, um, oh, gotcha. With the face covered up, you noticed. With like a mm. uh, a mask covering the lower half of, it, of the face below the eyes. Right. Gideon, do you think that this ship could be the one that's been trailing us? Is this how maybe they've kept up? Perhaps. I'm not too sure, but... It's my understanding that it doesn't... That ship does not reside on our plane of existence. You're not sure yet. You haven't, uh... Okay. You haven't delved deep enough into the research as yet. Could we assume that the ship that the, the red ship following us was uh, one of these uh, plateau of Lang ships? Uh, you could assume whatever you want. I'm assuming that. <laughs> <laughs> there is ample opportunity, I guess, for it to be that if we really were to, you know, imagine such a thing, <laughs> being hunted down by these dissidents, but. <laughs> Part of me still believes that they may be part of the of another plane of existence, perhaps, like 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 the last one. Especially if we're fading into a dream world, just transporting us back, you know, into the a little bit further ahead, distance-wise, where we are at the moment. Then um, I imagine it's in another plane. If we could somehow fall asleep and enter this same world, that'd be quite fascinating, especially. You know, waking up afterwards, even though time has passed slower here. I mean, I'm a betting man. This this benefits me. If we could fall asleep and wake up in this plane of existence, I think I think you would me need to head down the down to the um, betting pool place, and you know, put a couple of gold on a on a horse, perhaps. If you catch my drift. Oh, you drift. We yes, we're, we're on a boat. No, we're, we're, I mean, yeah. what I'm saying is if we can fall asleep and enter this same plane of existence here, then as time passes naturally in the dream world, it's in this world, obviously, it slows down, right? Everyone's got that concept now. So if we can dream, but yet enter this world, um, you know, put a, put a couple of coins down on a, a horse figure out, oh no, I got that one wrong. Ah, oh, wait, that's the winner. And then we need to do is wake up and uh, go there. And hope, hopefully, you know, that horse is uh, the winner. No? I, I think I get what you're do you, trying do you understand, to say. Concept? You understand the... the don't, don't even worry. It's not... It's fine. Um, to answer your question, maybe. If it is, it will be excellent. We'll be rich. If not, well... We richer in mind, perhaps? I'm not sure what other way to say it. Yes. I'm a little hesitant of entering again. I am... Um, what I believe, I believe I'm like... Am I one... Yeah, I'm one save now, or am I two saves in a row? I cannot remember. I think I'm only one save ahead at the moment. I think... I honestly not remember because we uh, I am one we, it's one save yeah because we took a week off I I can't remember no That's it's, right. it's one because I did psychic surgery last time then we went mm. straight in yeah uh, dealt with the hag and that was it that's true yeah so, yeah. yeah so you are one save in. well no because we did a save at the end of the last session yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay right yeah so that and that's the one I saved because we did the um yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. got it got it we are there yep because we did, yeah. Yes. Hello. Alright. 
I'm a little bit hesitant to come going in, just as if I do not wish to lose my mind again. But uh, hmm? again, again, yes. I do not wish to be in that world and stuck there. You know, for over a month like we were last time. Especially with Bathurst, but that's neither here nor there. We've, forgot, we've forgotten and forgiven. Yes, we have. Yes, yes we we've got. Have. We've got to find a breeze for you to. Got a what? Sorry. A find a breeze. A brisk what? <sighs> a healer. You need to. If I can hear you, yes. I'll oh, just have some jovial jokes with you and your accent. Sorry. <laughs> let's go to sleep. All right. So let's 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 do the thing where we pretend. I mean, go to sleep and. End up it's the a, other it's one. only three p.m. by this point. Um, no, oh, it's watch. only three p.m. So that's what, what you call me in here for. I got more fishing to do. <laughs> well, go, go go get some more fish. I'm, I I I thought you came in here. Not the yo. So G Gideon and Heimlich, that's what you've gleaned in eight hours from seven a.m. to three p.m. of research. Meanwhile, Balthus and Afa outside. Uh, Afa, are you bow fishing again? All right, then. Yep. Uh, let's uh, make make a roll to hit. Balthus, what's your method of fishing for the day? Uh, shock Sixteen. Fishing. Shock fishing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what shock 16. spell are you using? Sixteen. Right. Uh, I will use my. I'll keep it to the shock and grasp. Oh, with your uh, custom rod. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, make a uh, melee spell attack. My. Your hero lab. Yeah. Yeah. Just shattered. Yeah, no, I had the same thing happen, but it's come back. It, it just. It could be. Um, it could have a restart. It could be update time. Yeah. I also you did should... like literally just put you guys on the stage, so that could have been it. Yeah, that's what it would have been. Yeah. For sure. Um, I'm guessing that's only a plus two for me then. It'll just be um, your melee touch attack, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, my dex is screwed at the moment. Uh, I'll do it like four times today with that method. Your so. dex is screwed. Yeah, because of um, I'm still affected. I thought it was your wisdom that got affected. Uh, my dex is down as well for some reason. Or oh, my no 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 my my dex is only plus two. It is my wisdom that's screwed as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's the melee attacks. All right. Yeah, Balthus and Afo, you both relatively successful in your fishing ventures today. Cool. Aoife, as you're winding in your fish, you manage to skewer one, you see the telltale bloosh! The fish thrashes above the water with the, the arrow skewered through it. You begin to hand pull it in. As you uh, grab the fish, you wrench the arrow out as you usually do. Notice there's a torrent of maggots begin flowing forth from the, the wound that the Arrow leaves behind. Bloody hell, it's rotten. They just begin flowing over your hands, writhing and wriggling <laughs> around. I'm gonna go over to the uh, edge of the ship and just start shaking them off and toss the ship over. I uh, toss the toss uh, the ship overboard. <laughs> to toss, the, toss the fish overboard. About this, from where you're standing, you just see Afo just freaking out. And just. Throwing the fish back uh, into the water. The fish dead from the arrow pierced through it. Just are you okay? Floating next to the boat and just drips away. What? What? You see the maggots? It's the rotten. It's dead. I got a dead one. Uh, I thought I saw it alive, but. Okay, I don't, it's don't know if that's quite right. I'm sorry? I mean, all the fish I got were fine, and you're a much better. Fisher catch a person, whatever they're called, than I am. Well, that's why I'm confused. But it, there's maggots. Can you not see them? 
No, no, I'm still no, just no. like scraping maggots off my hands. What? <sighs> so you're saying I'm seeing things again? Uh, I think so. Yes, we definitely need to go find a priest or a healer or something. I can't keep living with this unless you can replicate that spell we used on you. I don't know if Heimlich could remember how to do it. But, and we also need to see someone about you and Gideon. Yeah, the we, longer we stay on the boat without. without finding someone, the closer I get to losing you and, well, and losing Gideon, I guess, but... I understand the sentiment. I am much more important than Gideon. Obviously. You're my brother. But, I think another day of this and you go mad or you go back to sleep again. And I don't think either of us want, us want that. Is there some way you could possibly, maybe, I don't know, like, go kill the bastard that started this? Might cancel the curse or something? Maybe. I mean, if we try to submit him, he might be able to at least, re we might be able to force him to release it. But last time we visited him, he quite frankly kicked our butts. We just need magic weapons. Can't you cast a spell or something to make it make you whip? Or you can cast magic on him, but like get in and I'm like, can't they make magic weapons? Uh, I, th I think so, but I mean that uh, it is a worthwhile thing to try. Hmm. Maybe it's something we need to discuss with them. I'm yeah, I'm just trying to come up with solutions for it. Your ailment. Don't know much else. Don't have any experience in the field, you. Yeah. Well, let's well let's see what they're doing at the moment. Are they still studying the book, or can we get them to? Probably them? they're both bookworms. That is true. What time is it about now, Dosh? After it's, we've been in and out and fishing. It's, it's roughly, uh, well, it's exactly the time it says on the clock. So it's 11 past, 12 past Ooh. 3. Okay. Well, <clears throat> fishing's ruined for me today. I'm gonna go curl into a ball and just meditate or something. I don't know. Good idea. <sighs> I'm going to do exactly that. Right. While these two continue reading their book, right? Well, it's 3pm, so what does everyone want to do with the evening? Um, <clears throat> look, after 3 o'clock, I'm more than happy to just keep going. With the, um, reading. I think. Let me see if I want to assist here. Give me a second. Yeah, I'll assist, but only for half help. So I'll roll a 20. Okay. <laughs> Alright then, uh, roll a, a research check then, Gideon. Mm. Three local or planes? Go with history again. Go with history again. Uh, b -b -b skills. Where is it? There we go. Ooh, low on this time. 26. Plus 2, so 28. Oh, sorry, 28. It's the same as last time. Uh, roll a, a d8, add your intelligence modifier. Can do. d8, d8. Can I d8? Oh, God. Get out of here. Oh, God, that's not happening. There you go. Oh, God, what's going on? 
There you go. Why isn't this rolling? You do it on Foundry or Hero Lab? Yeah, I'm trying to do it on Foundry, but it's not rolling. Mm. I'm hitting roll. Let me try... Uh... Refresh the uh, screen. I had to refresh it once. Yeah, try refreshing. I had. I just had to do it as well. Okie dokie. Until got yeah, I could roll. I could only see three people connect. Two people, two other people connected besides me. Uh, yeah, it runs. That popping. worked. Yeah, it runs popping. There you go. There. Seven. All right. Sam Boyd. Seven. Uh, so taking it from down to that. Okay. So you now knowing that you need to. Uh, Find out more about this Bloodwind and the Captain Badrak. Continue rummaging through these books. Uh, sleeved inside one of them, you open it up. You find a, a, a piece of parchment slides out. A carbon copy of uh, a tattered registry of boats from some port somewhere, indicating that the Bloodwind most often sails the rivers and seas of the Dreamlands, but it can cross into other planes. Captain Vadrak is, according to Lauz's journal entry, is relentless in pursuit of his victims, chasing them across the plains if necessary. You then find a uh, description in one of Lauz's journals uh, of a, a, a quote of uh, some witness of the Bloodwind that had seen it sailing before, uh, saying it's, it's made of dark wood, with distinctive red-colored sails. It appears my assumption was correct. Mm. Perhaps. Still not certain on it, but if he is pursuing us, then we may just have to stop the boat. Why would he be pursuing us, though? What would make us such a prominent target? Is there anything in the books that would connect this gentleman perhaps with um the <clears throat> other thing that has attacked us the uh the wrapped gentleman who attacked us in our first dream the is tatum, there any man? connections between yeah the tatum uh, is there any... not that you can discern um tatterman didn't really have any connection with the denizens of lang mm. uh or any slavers or this bloodwind or captain badrak Perhaps this, this, these denizens of Lang are after us because you know, we could have had a bounty on our heads. It could be even that we've just disturbed the dreamland and they've noticed that we're now conscious in it. That could be enough for them to, you know, understand that something has entered from the material plane into this other plane of existence. It might be enough. But, nonetheless, I think <clears throat> if you are all ready, we should enter when we can. See if we can get another one of these objects. Well, you're still sure at this point that there's more to discover about this track on with further research. Hmm. Do we sacrifice possibly another save of a positive or a negative with me and Balthus? Or do we go in now? I guess that's the question. I think it might be better to uh, go in now. Like, how much can we kind of like glean how much we've actually understood here? Like, do we do we know like uh, how much more we think we we would be able to get from? Uh, yeah, the well, here? You're, you're pretty sure that there is. You're pretty close, and uh, with a bit of it's at this point, it's more rummaging, spending hours rummaging through Lauz's journal entries and dream reports. To try and discover mm -hmm. if he has a similar um similar incantation addition to the one that took you to the mm. lathleen something that might home in on right the we still haven't found the incantation yet to actually get us there can we call on the eggheads to uh assist what time is it presently it is 11 p.m at this point You call them me an egghead? I was referring to the uh, scholars. I could oh. pull an all-nighter. 
but that means I'll be exhausted for the morning. And then on top of that, I could have also have those bad dreams, which could, could slip me further into darkness. I Same with Balthus. We, yeah, I don't think we want to do that, because then if we need to go in, like, straight away the next day, mm. then you're a bit kind of screwed. Well, we kind of is... have to. I yeah, guess. if we if we know what we're looking for now, we're looking for an incantation, and that's it. I think it, you know, are we assuming it's going to be like quite distinctive? Like, was the other one distinctive? Um, the other one was, yeah, it was basically the same. It was rummaging through Lauser's dream reports until you found something that made sense. I suppose okay. it also comes down to technic technical speaking. If we do this, make the check, which we probably will. Um, um, yeah, make the check, and then I've got to roll the attack or the damage roll that we've been rolling. So, so long as the next roll I do is decently high, we'll be able to defeat it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I don't defeat it, in a way, as if I don't take its damage down to zero, or its health down to zero, then we may have to do it for a, th a th uh, sorry, a fourth time, rather than a no. third time. I but it's like be, we should be yeah. okay until we. I think we have to like push through to get it. Otherwise, how are we going to get the place? Hmm. Well, I think in the morning I've got to roll anyway because it's a 24 hour period. So I think regardless, we've got to roll again. Depends on how quickly we get through it. Because last time we got through it in mm. like an hour and a little bit. So it was, you know. All right. Well, let's see how. Soon. Well, yeah, I'm happy to push from like 11 o'clock. Let me onwards. see if this does anything. It does not. If is also going to bring up possibly going back to confront the uh the shopkeeper and killing him to alleviate your curse which might remove a bit of the time crunch i think it's less of a... yeah actually yeah can i do some sort of check mm -hmm. on my condition to see if it's, this is connected to like a permanent not like a permanent spell but a permanent condition attached to me actually having this spectral hand placed inside me or if this is a like a spell that is casted on me. Roll a knowledge. I kind of. Okay. Ooh, near sixteen. Uh, you're not sure. You know that it is most definitely a curse placed on the two of you. Mm. Uh, you know that there is magic that can be bestowed by clerics to lift most curses um you know that sometimes the person that plays the curse may be able to lift it themselves but in this specific case you don't know okay all right well i'll do another knowledge history if i'm able to get some aid we'll carry on all right go for it um balthus falls asleep at the wheel Lumps over a book. Ah, uh, sorry, not Balthus. Heimlich has uh, fallen asleep over his book. So you're on your own. You got to nine for his check. Mm -hmm. Oof. Well, I'll really, aid him uh, aiding me. Enthusiastic. <laughs> I'll aid him aiding me. That's right. I got a thirty-four. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a also crit? Natural. Is that a crit? That, was a, that is a crit. Woo. Um. Yeah, let me double race. I think. Isn't? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is a crit. It, it, it is a crit. Let me just... Do you want me to confirm it? <laughs> Let me just check if you don't have to confirm it. Uh... I can confirm it. I mean, I'll roll it again anyway, because it's fun. Uh, what was that? History? History. Yeah. I mean, a 19 the next one. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is one below the mm. difficulty, so if you, if you do if only have someone to aided. confirm it... That's right. I mean, I get it. So... Let me just double check. Okay, you least... might not even have to. Uh... Mm. Thirty-four. It's pretty bloody good. It does help to have plus fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Means you rolled a five, Jesus. Yeah, I rolled a five. Like my other one, when I'm like only a sixteen. It's because I rolled a plus. I have fourteen plus two. Roll a two. Yeah. I mean, technically, I guess I could um, take 20. Are you able to use your inspiration point for this? Oh, 100% I am. So I could, I could, I mean, I'll just take one away. 
and that will make it a pass. Yeah. All right, sweet. In that case, it's a, a crit. Mm. So... Yeah, critting doing ma uh doing study. Just double damage, I presume. Ah oh, yeah, so yeah, it is confirmed, which you have done, and so Yeah, the resulting knowledge point reduction is doubled. So just roll D8 plus four, and we double it. Ooh, okay. What's going on here? Oh, we got oh, fucking right 24. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I fucking sucker punch that knowledge in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the host, Yanti1. Um, appreciate it. It's like when you research, you're almost like looking through the eyes of Laos as you're writing. It's like, hmm. hmm. Or it was like <laughs> yeah, me the other day uh, when I finally figured out what parallel and um, finally used Omen's Law properly with parallel mm -hmm. and in series circuits. And I was like, <gasps> and I finally figured out where I was going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you. With precision, you see Heimlich has fallen asleep over his book and. You just have this moment of inspiration in the corner of your eye. You spot one of Lauza's journals. You pick it up, flick through it, and with almost inspirational precision arrive, and you find at the end of one of Lauza's dream reports the passage that you need to add to the dream ritual incantation to home in on the Bloodwind's location. Awesome. awesome. How much time do you need to spend on doing that? Uh, we will just say one hour. Done. I throw the book at Heimlich to wake him up. <laughs> but, but, but. I figured out how to do it. Uh, yes. Best get onto this quickly. Uh, okay, yep. Yes. I'm glad I could help. This was uh, enlightening. Yes, you helped out enormous. Enorm 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 yes. <laughs> I straightened my monocle. Uh, Let's wake the other two up, and we'll get to it. Do you want to get those eggheads up, as you call them? Well, I was referring to the uh, two scalded. They may yes. have been able to help us, but uh, clearly <clears throat> we've done it. A team effort, really. Well, don't we need them to perhaps wake us up when all else fails? I will go and uh, get them to monitor. I'm sure they will be very interested. Right, all right. I'll go find the other two. And if they're asleep in the hammocks, I'll toss them out. You know. Yeah. I get okay. the uh, eggheads to monitor. Oh, okay. is, that, that, is it that time? Is it? If it is. So you rouse Balthus <sighs> and Apha from their sleep. The two university professors, once again, uh, you wake them up as well. They produce their quills and their ink in their journals and begin taking notes as the four of you stand in circle, begin the incantation of the Dreamlands ritual, and begin passing around the ivory and bone carved spiral staircase trinket. It gets heavier and heavier as you pass it around the circle. Well, you finally reach the last passage of the incantation. Gideon, you recite the new passage and drop. The spiral staircase trinket to the floor. Just like before, the floor opens like an iris with a dark staircase leading downwards into the, the blackness. <clears throat> Four of you descend. Mm -hmm. What waits this time? Unlike. The last few times you've done this, <clears throat> the same sensation as you pass into blackness, into nothingness, and then you wake up in your bunks, in the cabin, 
the two university professors sleeping soundly at well as well awoken by the sound of the sailors meandering around the next morning so is the next morning it is the next morning and we are in our bunk and not on the floor where we started that is correct how well rested are we um you are in um you're fully rested it's like the same condition you were when you went to sleep does anyone anyone else get bed? a really good night's sleep don't even remember getting into bed wait yes why am i in bed hmm is this still our ship what i'm gonna get up i'm not having a hallucination am i you guys is no yo you're quite fine do i uh, feel like re- i've gone in Sorry. gone under any mental strain as of waking up the next day Meaning, do I feel like I should have had, you know, like, woken up and I should have had a check done or something like that? So I'm trying to work out whether I've had, no, you had feel any nightmares. Or relatively well, the same. I suppose, you know, I wouldn't, there's no way for my character to tell that fuck. Um, well, that's the cupboard. If this is reality and I have woken up here, then I feel like we might be one step closer to, you know, Getting past whatever this mental hurdle is Think between me. What and... we can do here is uh, perhaps check with uh, these two doctors. Maybe the uh, the yes. from last night would be more revealing about what happened. Well, at least be able to, you know, to what happened. Perhaps. <laughs> Oi, hey, uh... you two, <laughs> get out, you lazy bones. <laughs> uh, if they don't stir from that, I'm going to go over and shake them up. What? What is it? What? What the oh, fuck happened? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do we mean? What do you You're supposed mean? to be observing us. We went through that fucking portal thing, and then we woke up in our beds. What you tuck us in? You know, wipe our brow with us uh, a, a wet towel or something. Give us good night kisses. The fuck are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling all right, mate? What did you do last night? What happened? What do you mean? Tell me what happened after midnight last night. Well, we, we, we slept. We all went to sleep soundly. We slept. You slept. We all slept. What you're saying, so we didn't do a ritual last night? Ritual? Yes, yes, there was right. a ritual, yes. Last night. If you to have the notes from the ritual, you would have been taking notes as we did it. Yes, yes, I did see. Uh, let's uh, have a look here. He, he reaches down beside his bunk. He's sort of I'm going to pull out my knife. Underneath. Like, oh, hey, what are you doing? What? Put the knife are away, you, do- you mad what bitch. Are you- <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Reaching for my journal. Why are you think, so forgetful all of a sudden? I think you should uh, put that away. Just uh, please, with the notes. Get get the notes. Now you show your feelings. I want to figure right? out I what's happening. Flailing around with that fish yesterday up on deck. Okay, and tell me okay, what look, happened uh, last night. All right, here. Look, let me. He opens his journal up. He flicks through. Wets the edge of his finger and flicks through the the pages. Yeah, here, here is the notes I took. Uh, yeah, shows them oh, to you. you. It just seems to be a legible scribble on the paper. Uh, Mike, I, I look at it for a little bit. I'm like, can I can you read this? What? Uh, read this back to me. I I uh, can't read the language you've written it in. I say, not peculiar. I can't. This is the scribblings of a madman. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, what the fuck happened last night? You know, 
I don't know. I I think I just fell asleep. Well, I fell asleep and woke up. Great researcher you are, mate. Uh, well, we look, I am don't... on a sabbatical after all. Uh, Where? We don't. Um, like, who who was the the people who witnessed the uh, the good yellow king? Like uh, looking through these uh, similar scrawlings of you know just insanity. Oh, that was Gideon. That. Oh, that was Gideon and Balthus, where he's a uh, helper for roughly three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So I'd have no idea. I would. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, this is uh, perhaps the goggles. Who oh, has? Oh. Who has the goggles again? Gideon. Gideon has the goggles. Gideon, the uh, the goggles. Uh, what do you see? Let me have a look. Um, what do I see with my goggles? Well, a legible scribble. No language I recognize. How do you speak? No, multiple? it's it's literally just like squiggly lines. Hmm. You, I'm gonna point at the other researcher. What did you write down? What? Is it nonsense as well? I don't. I didn't write anything down. I'm not. I just. He's not. That's note irresponsible, taker. isn't it? Well, I, I, I am on a sabbatical after all. Oh, I'm on a sabbat. I'm on a sabbatical. I'm a. I'm on a sabbatical as well, from this bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna storm out. To the deck. I have a few. But he woke up on the wrong side of the bunk. Uh, would you happen to also have? I wake up the other one. Um, would you happen to have any notes as well? No, I I didn't. Take, come to think of it, I just kind of fell asleep last night as well. I think. Let's see, do you remember how we got into bed? Like, uh... I assume like one leg at a time, or sometimes I just like to do the dive, you know, straight into the bunk. It's very satisfying. Yes, but uh, particularly last night, so uh, there seems to be a gap in everyone's memory, and these insane scrolling. Uh, this seems very peculiar. Yes, uh, it has been a peculiar week, hasn't it? Uh, I, I flipped through the rest of the book. Is there anything legible in there? Oh, it's all just a legible scribble. Hmm. Have we looked at their notes before? I presume we have every time we've woken. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like, yeah, they usually just take their notes and then put their journal away. You just assume they were. They've been here the whole time. Oh, it's quite early, and uh, okay, I think I'm going to sleep for a few more hours. If that's okay. There's... Is it actually early? It's Seven a.m. Okay. I'm gonna like pat down and like look for things that are missing from the ritual, if there's anything missing at all. Uh, in regards to the item you like used, the... yeah. Um, uh, the spiral staircase is sitting on the floor like it usually is. But we didn't pack it away like we would normally, I guess. Um, well, it's, it's sitting on the floor in the spot where Gideon dropped it the night before. So. Hmm. Okay. Um, Gideon. Josh. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Who was? You go. You go. You go. Okay. Um, I was going to just ask. Uh, when I walk out onto the deck, I want to walk to the uh after the ship and just have a look out. Which way is the coastline? Uh, so the coastline. As you emerge onto the deck, uh, Afar, roll me a. Oh, are you oh, trained right. in knowledge okay. geography by any chance? I am. I roll knowledge, knowledge geography. Are oh, you as good as Gideon, though? It's a 19. Alright, so as you emerge, you immediately notice you guys hadn't entered the cell and passage yet, and you do seem to be actually floating down a twisting and turning river. The environment. It, well, you never actually got into the Selen Passage, so you mostly, you had the banks of Ilmarsh and then the other swamps following it on the, your uh, port side for the first week of the journey. Mm. Uh, and now, there seems to be thick jungle among the banks. The river is twisting and turning. 
you are definitely not in the Selen Passage. And you're not exactly sure where you are. As you ponder this, Afar, you see some strange, flabby, waddling quadrupeds come down to the shore of the river. About 100 meters away. Like large, obese elephants with very short trunks and small ears. They kind of wander over to the banks. <laughs> begin slurping at the water out. But these creatures are very strange. You've never seen them before. Um, being an elf, you've been... Kionan is nearby, the Selen Passage. Um, you're very familiar with the wildlife around the Kionan, the Selen, the northern Selen Passage and the River Kingdoms, and you've never seen any animals yeah. like this before. Is the captain nearby? You look around, you spot her standing on the bow of the ship, um, just gazing up ahead. <clears throat> Um, Captain Freeling? You, Captain? You were setting the stairs step next to her. What? What? Oh! Oh, sorry. What is it? Oh, I was just curious if you know what those creatures were. And, you know, where we are. Creatures? Or, like, why, why we're here. What creatures? Over on the bank over there. Gazes over. Oh! Boa paths. Lovely little. I'm sorry, come again? Boa paths. Bo yeah. uh, like wolf you, the you've seen them before? Aye. Wonderful creatures. They scare easily, though. It, Don't try and get near them. Look Run away. Quite novel. Um, never seen them before, actually. Gary, Not in this yeah. part of the land, anyway. Gideon's going to be on deck at this point, by the way. Okay. Oh, Gideon? Yes. Look over the yonder. What? Uh, you ever seen those creatures before? Um, can I do a knowledge? Yeah, do a... Uh, on them? Knowledge nature, if you like. Or and even... Do. Yeah, knowledge yeah. nature. Knowledge nature. It's all plus 14. Uh, 28. 28. Never seen anything like this in material plane. This does not exist in our reality. Confirmed. Well, 20, <clears throat> uh, 47, uh, 21. It, it, the captain's seen him before, Gideon, apparently. I start looking around at, like, around us in the geography and stuff like that. I'm gonna go down, uh, I'm gonna go down to Whisper. It's like, we're not where we were yes, no, when we went to sleep. Plain to see. Can I do some and sort of... You see, these creatures don't exist on the material plane. Not on our plane of existence. So I guess we are, in fact, in the dream world. As far as we, we are know. in the dream world. As far as we know. As far as we know. Um, so what I... I'm thinking is that we're going to be seeing a ship soon? Yes. It may even be behind us. And he turns around. I did a look. There at least, oh, okay. uh, you, you surmise... Gideon, that they're at least not native to the inner sea region of Galarion. May I do a knowledge planes check to see if I can figure out where we are or if this geography is any, if I've read about it outside of the inner sea. Right. Oh, when we are. Planes. Knowledge airplanes. Is there, is there knowledge space time? 31. 31. All right, Gideon, whilst in your past days, of rummaging through Lowther's journals, hmm. you do recall a passage that he wrote uh, detailing his journey on a ferry down a river called the Okranos. The geography and the animals he described seem to fit what you're observing right now. You believe... We are sailing through a passage called the Aquanoc. I read this in one of the passages uh, that we've been looking over. I believe it's in a separate uh, plane of existence, or... Yes, in the dreamlands. Okay. We are, in fact, in the dream realms. As much as the DM is trying to make it all... <sighs> but we are, in fact. <laughs> no, 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 we are. What's a DM? Are you still suffering? 
No, no, no. This is this, you. The people have their gods, you know. That's, that is mine. Ah. Okay. Roll, uh, roll perception checks for me, Gideon and Afa. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> sure. You perceive the DM. A ten. Mm-hmm. I'm good at looking at books, maybe not everything else. Twenty six. Yeah. Yeah, Gideon, you're too enthralled by the geography and the strange, you th- the strange mm. flabby animals, the way they sort of wiggle as they're slurping water is almost hypnotic. Look, it's twerking. <laughs> <laughs> that totally exists on this plane of existence. Thank God. Be, be <laughs> safe not to share it with any youths. They'll put it on their clock apps. A- Afa, um, <laughs> first, um, you take it, you glance at Captain Skywin again. Again, she just seems to be gazing into the distance. Roll a sense motive check for me, Afa. Mm. 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 16. She seems to have some unusual behaviors as you've been talking to her the last few minutes uh, up until Gideon arrived. She seemed to be, uh, you know, acting erratically, gazing off into the horizon, tilting her head as if listening for a sound that no one else can hear. Acting quite oddly. As you're Feels pondering like you're this... Dog like when you're like, you want to go for walks? And you're like... <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as, you, as you're pondering this, Afa, in the corner of your eye, to the rear of the ship, up, must be up to half a mile away, you spot red sails on the distance. A ship in pursuit. Hey, fuck. Well, well, I guess not fuck, but... What? Good. Oh, um... Look aft. What? See those sails? There's red sails on the horizon. Which... which... That way, or... That... At the back of the ship. Oh, right. Oh. That is that is what we came oh. here for, I guess. Well, at least we came to the right place. Should we That's warn right. everyone? I, uh, the captain looks spaced out to me, to be honest, so we should go get Aimlick and Balthus, but... Uh, I would have followed you guys up onto the deck. Is it actually dark like this um, at 7am? Uh, I've got a light. shouldn't be dark. Try refreshing. I've got light. Mm-hmm. I have light. Let that be light. Um, I can hear you, you know. Hmm? Hello? It's the, cap- the you- captain as you're talking about her. How far away is she? Right next to you, huh? Hello, um... Oh, right. There's a ship, and it's about to attack. Well, yes. Our guess would be that it would attack. We learned it from our dreams, you see. What should I say? Yes, it our would reality. Mean we are under attack. I'm so... Dagger is Gideon, again Gideon immediately like, in hand. Is, is grabs or a, sword, sorry. Uh, one of his flasks from his hip and just kind of puts it towards the chest of um, Aether. You should, you should, you should drink, drink this. Drink What's this. that? Just, just what? trust me. Just drink it. Drink it now. Okay, I'm going to drink it. Um, it's a potion of countless eyes. Countless eyes, okay. Yeah, so the target the one that gives her all around vision. <laughs> yeah, it just gives her vision 360. Thousands of eyes pop up on Afa's skin and like neck and back of her head. I like to imagine little she, stalks uh, as well popping out. Can, yeah, little stalks <laughs> coming out of the, like her shoulder and uh, uh, the the base of her spine as she uh, consumes this. That's a good spell, spell for this eyes. Uh, That's I just. Perfect. <laughs> Skywind turns around to, to face Never you. get used to that. Uh, even though she stands at roughly waist height. As she turns around, you notice that she's strangely higher than usual. She's roughly chest height. She makes eye contact with you. She's at eye height. Have you had a growth spurt? You see her limbs darkening and elongating. She cocks her head back to the sky and lets out a strange shrill cry as the last of her form shifts into a black 
sort of tingles up my spine. Shifting mass. I'm not a fan. Yeah, that's it. Or, or, oh. as, as she does, a strange dark aura begins to emanate from her. Nope. Nope. Roll initiative. Oh, I have security on the initiative tracker. Let me just clear that. No, it's good. You can leave me there. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Okie dokie. Archie dokie. No, I forgot. I forgot how to do that. And just bear with me one sec while I enable script. Where am I? I think I rolled. I did. I rolled. And we've all rolled 12 so far. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, Spook City 20. Uh, I am. I forgot. I am launching Sirenscape now. So, yeah, that screech definitely sent shudders down my spine. I had a cool breeze down my down down my back. <laughs> I was a feeling a bit warm. Out. Yeah, a little bit little bit of wee, a justifiable amount of wee. Justifiable. Um, yeah. And Yeah. Again, I feel like you're reading a lot of um uh this campaign and then going oh right i've got to do friday session wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> it's leaking in it's leaking in <laughs> i mean i got a roll of 12 as well yeah <laughs> everyone's on a tw- balthus get out of here Reroll. get out of here balthus get, oh, get out of here you're no friend of mine you freak how high up does this uh, thing extend? Well, if it takes up four squares, I'm gonna guess at least over seven feet tall. No, I, me- I meant the. Just the by my knowledge of the beast. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, it is. She grows quite large, to roughly eight feet, um, but more slender than wide. Uh, just the, mm. the, the size oh, like of her. Like Slenderman, spa- kind of. Yeah, the size of her space is more her reach mm. than anything. Um, like you feel this strange dark aura washing over you all. Uh, I'm gonna throw you a bone and say she looks like she's incorp- incorporeal. Incorporeal. Um, incorporeal from your experience then with the shopkeeper. You use your plus two magic short sword. And it's not naming any names. <laughs> it's already drawn and, <laughs> and out, mate. And uh, can I get some combat music, please? Oh, yep. About this, you have rolled initiative. Perfect. I, uh, I cast fly on myself. Okay. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. And how, how big is this, like, uh... Radius? Emanating? 60 yeah. feet. Does it go 60 feet in the air as well? Yes. Good dome. Sorry, there is music coming. It's just... Oh, I'm trying to find it. I'm just finding... Finding cast range. Yeah, cool. I fly 60 feet up in the air. Okay. So I'm, yeah. I uh, will say where you have flown to, um, given that it's a dome, you're able to get outside of her sphere of influence. And, influence. Oh, all right. Influence. So the things turn. It turns. No. Gaze to both Gideon and Aifa. Oh, I don't know who looks more tasty. I'm just gonna roll a dice. Well, Gideon is technically fatter. Uh. Technically. <laughs> and less armored. Target Gideon <laughs> swings. Ooh. Strange. Elongated, incorporeal hand. <laughs> Reaches out to touch you. Yeah. Is it technically touch AC? Um, we should say that. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not right. Uh, a. Uh, 
22 to hit. Yeah, no, um, even flat, if I was, wasn't flat footed, that would hit. It seems to pass straight through your again. physical armor um, and then penetrate inside of you. Uh, uh, you take fucking incorporeal creatures. 27 damage. Ooh. Big that oof. Is, that is all for now as it passes through you. Nothing, nothing more? Nothing more, actually. But, yeah, that's it. Nothing more. 24, you said. 24, I said. 27, I said. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Thought I got you there. And don't forget about your foundry token as well. That's... Ah, yes. I did that to my... Uh, I'll do that now. Oh, God. What am I sitting on? I'm sitting on the table. Bang. All right. Afro, it's your turn. Uh, sword attack. Actually, first, first of all, I'm going to do animal focus bear. Yep. Uh, to increase my constitution. Yep. Um, and I would like to sword attack. Crimson Destiny. How's a thirty to hit? Thirty to hit does indeed hit. Boy. Is it crit? Oh, uh, was a twenty. Oh, was it twenty? Would I roll to confirm yeah. the crit? All right, so I just roll it again. You just roll the hit again, yeah. Twenty-seven. That is a crit. Roll for double damage. Nice. All right. Uh, roll. Oh no, we'll roll. Roll normal damage and double it. Wait, is it a short sword? It is a short sword, yes. Is that times three? Uh, it will do it automatically. Um, whatever it is. Wait, did it? Did it come through? Because I already have the damage there. Um, melee. Yep, so the melee first one. Damage. So you did. Uh, oh no, that's the roll to hit. Um, yeah, it was 30, and then the, the, the one up to 30 is the uh, damage. Yeah. So you did 10 one. piercing damage, and then you did 12. Well, really well. I think that 12. was after it. No, that was after I took the crit. I'll um, take the crit. So it didn't update to the thing. Uh, I thought it would up update. I'll just roll a single thing without the crit box attack attached. Uh, I rolled the one, so. Is it one plus four, or is it just add the one to the already. It includes ability? the bonus as well, so it'll just. So ten total? Uh, so I rolled uh, a one plus four, if that was the second for the crit. Right. I'm so confused, there's like five rolls there. Uh, uh, this, oh, oh, there's two rolls there. I don't know why it's rolling so many dice, I only clicked one button. We got melee yeah. one. Do, two. from the 30 was 10, and then the, it's the oh, last, okay. last. Oh, okay, oh, gotcha, yeah. so that's the damage, yeah. and then the crit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll just use those two. Yeah. Oh, you got 16 damage. Yeah. Whatever it was. Alright, so, so you that plunge right. the Crimson Destiny into this stringy, uh, dark form in front of you and inflict 16 damage as the magic weapon pierces its form and it howls in pain. <laughs> uh, at the... Uh, do you have anything else to do, AFR? That's, that's it. No, that's All it. Right, at the end of your turn, I need you to make a will saving throw. Oh, Yuck. no. Yuck! 20 dirty. Oh, Ooh. nice, you have passed. So you feel this, the aura of this thing, this dark cloud emanating out of it fills your senses, but you shake it off and continue your onslaught. Gideon, it is your turn. Oh, what can Gideon do? What is Gideon going to do? Uh, 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 he's going to pull out a potion of cat's grace and skull that. Um, bang. Just add that to his. Come on. How do I get my full character up again? Oh, God. There it is at the bottom. Alright, um. Ugh. Uh, ba ba ba. I have Cat's Grace. Okay. 
I am going to. I'm going to now move. I, the only thing I can really do, I'm not going to be any good in this combat. Especially with an incorporeal, incorporeal creature. I do literally. Bombs? Do I bombs? No. Gideon's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gideon's all about thinking and buffing everyone else up. No bombs, no nothing. Yeah. Um, Gideon is going to run down the steps. Right. Are you um, just shifting or are you just. You can just I, five I'll take foot a five step. foot. Yeah. I'll take a five foot step towards the steps and go <laughs> right. down the steps back towards my friends. Um, you, you'll only be able to take the five footer. Oh no, you're not taking oh, no. an action. That's fine. I'm yeah, not taking. Yeah, a, I'm not taking a move action. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Good yeah, luck, you... people. <laughs> All right. Unless Unless it's, it's got your reach. Turn. Yeah. Double bomb, baby. Bruh. Oh my god, this actually may work now. Holy shit, it works now. Uh, twenty-five. That is a hit. Roll damage on that boy. Uh, 15. Ooh, all right, that's good. Uh, counts as magical, so you s explode for uh, 15 fire damage on target on this thing. It thrashes around in pain as the flames engulf its form. Oh, your second bomb. Oh, 10 only. That one is a miss. It flies past and goes... Into one, two, three, four, five, six. Goes into the water. Oof. Lucky. Uh, at the end of your turn, roller will save Heimlich. Do uh -oh. I need to roll one too? Oh yeah, you do actually. Yeah. Damn it! I was trying to get out of range with that. <laughs> oh, if yeah. you're on the boat, you're in range. Yeah. If you zoom out, you can see the aura. Only Seven. Ten. Oh, there's uh, that oh. range. <laughs> you are both. Yeah. Uh, you are both shaken. And you will stay shaken as long as you're inside the aura and for 1d4 rounds after leaving it. Uh, I hate this. Uh, what's the shaken effect do? Uh, you can apply it on your sheep. I'm pretty sure two it's, penalty yeah, attack it's rolls, a negative two penalty. Saving attack throws, rolls. skill checks, and ability checks. Uh, that's under which modifier? Condition? Condition, Condition modifiers, yeah. 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 Right, round two, Balthus. From where you're floating up in the air, just uh, the corner of your eye, yeah. the blood wind uh, pursuing yeah. the sullen starling catches your eye. They seem to be uh, accelerating with unnatural speed. The mm. red uh, sails you seem have the appearance of, of though like blood sort of flowing over them. Uh, you reckon it will be here within thirty seconds? Okay. Which is rough. Well, you reckon it would be here in less than 30 seconds, roughly four or five rounds. Yeah. Uh, I will cast a fireball at the thing in such a way that it won't Fuck. hit. Alright, uh, so, so, it's like, so it explodes off, explodes off the bow and just hits it and not a far. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, sweet. Like uh, or something. Oh man, uh, I can finally use this thing. Ooh. I'm excited. Where is it? Uh, also, Josh, is the aura a spell oh. enchantment or effect? Uh, it Ooh, is. It is a. It's a mind affecting fear effect. Is it an enchant? Is it an enchant? This wasn't an enchantment. No, it's not enchantment or charm. No. Uh, I'm going to do this as a lightning type as well. Ooh. Do you have a lightning fireball? Oh, so I it's a crackling my lightning fireball? Yeah. That's my fucking sick! Oh, uh, let me <laughs> Yes! <laughs> uh, I don't have a big crackle effect, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? I could do this. What? How big is fireball? Uh, 20 feet. 20 feet? Radius. Radius. I could do this. Right. Uh, same lightning effect as like around the uh, obelisk. Uh, can do that, but that was this isn't yellow. This is Arthur's brand. Yeah. Oh, Boom! That's, cool. that's <laughs> sick. You can see it flash against all of our faces from the wow. screen. Yeah, Balthus wow. unleashes a ball lightning that flo that explodes off the bow. Uh, engulfing the thing. Uh, reflex saving throw, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, 
What's the DC here? Uh, that's good. I'm not sure where my DC is. I'd say it got a 20. I'd say your DC oh, wouldn't be that high. Uh, so half damage. So roll your damage. Uh, 25, so it takes 13 lightning damage. All that vision practice fit paid off, Balthus? Yeah. Yeah, lightning is good. I call out <laughs> over my shoulder, I guess. Lightning is good. Lightning is good. Uh, but yeah, as it explodes over it, uh, it unleashes uh, another sort of cry of pain. So... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't use my body. But... <laughs> Much better. Oh. Uh, Spooky times. Alright. This time it makes uh, its attempts to uh, make a tormenting touch at Aether. Go, wait a go. Go, wait for go. Sorry, if you die, I'll take your sword. In a uh, 29 to hit, A5, you are hit. Uh, but it rolled an abysmal damage roll. Uh, it got, so it's 66, right? It got four twos, a three, and a five. I like that. What damage is it? It's 16 damage. Of what type? Uh, it's actually doesn't specify it, which is really weird. It just says Ooh. damage. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Spooky. Um, A4. <laughs> yeah. That will change my 16. Uh, were you... You were currently shaken, weren't you? Oh, it's not. Oh, you no. weren't? Okay, sweet. Uh, oh, yeah, you were the only one that wasn't. Balthus. Cool. Then that is it. Uh, is your turn then? All right. Uh, is that one my hit points? Is the second one done? Here we go. I think I. Uh, my turn. Uh, is my wolf around? It is actually. Sorry, I always forget about the wolf. But yeah, he's he's there on deck, just licking his balls. Uh, I'm gonna command him to attack. Is that an action? <clears throat> uh, it is a uh, free action because it, it is one of the tricks he knows. All right. You do have to make so a handle I'm animal gonna... check, though. All right, I'll do that. I think I have plus five. Uh, so handle animal. I think. Uh, 15. Uh, 15. And you get, because he's your animal, you get a plus 4 bonus. I think it is, additionally. It's plus 5, I added it, added it to it already. Oh, you added it to it already? Alright, sweet. Yeah, um, yeah. I, think that, I can't remember what the DC is for, um... I think it's 10. I think you're fine. Alright, yeah, you're, uh, if you want to place your wolf... And he can attack. Handle animal 10. Yeah, it is. Wait. You can place your wolf and he can make an uh, attack. Yes, I will. Do. Alright. Uh, so he'll make an attack, which is. Loading his thing. Oh, no, I can click it down. Ooh, here, Lab is having a hard time. Well, I'll make an Aoife attack in the meantime. Okay. Uh, rolling one. Oh, another crit. Oh, <laughs> my lordy. Uh, it's what we want. It's what we want. Roll, uh, just roll so to confirm roll it. to confirm. Yeah, just roll yeah. the attack roll again. All right, so the damage was 10 off yeah. that first one. Yeah. Uh, rolling to confirm uh, is a 12. Uh, that's unfortunate. It's about 10 piercing damage. Are you doing a full round action attack? Uh, is that mean I get to make a second one? Yeah. Yes, I will be doing that. 
roll attack Ooh, number a nine. two. Yeah, it's got less um less of an plus attack five, bonus. Instead of plus ten. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that is a miss. You uh, attack, come back with a second swing, uh too wildly and miss. Alright, the uh, wolf is gonna make his bite. Oh, he got a crit as well! What? Alright, <laughs> um, that's a... Uh, so, so damage on the first one, okay. roll to confirm. Unfortunately, it's it's incorporeal, so the wolf's jaws oh, just pass up. through it. <laughs> is the wolf it's not like, also incorporeal? Uh, no, he's, uh, he's a real boy. Oh, um, he's a real wolf, damn it. Yeah, his jaws just pass through it, unfortunately. It would have been a precision hit, like, right in the... <laughs> Right in the gonads, but uh, oh, no. fortunately they're ghost, right, see, ghost gonads. Seeing his bite just go straight through it, I'm going to make him, commit him to run back away. I guess it'll get an opportunity to take uh, it. Yeah, do you want him to just shift so he doesn't die? Yeah, he'll just do a, <laughs> a five foot step instead. Yeah. Uh, and I can't do anything else. I will make a will save though. Will saving throw. 20 again. 20 again. Uh, boy. Dice are hot tonight, lads. Dice yeah. are hot tonight. Hot. Yeah, you can you can keep doing your thing. It's fine. <laughs> Gideon, you're up. Uh, Gideon would like to do a knowledge check on this creature to see if he can see any weaknesses. Okay. Roll a knowledge. Planes. It is only a plus 12 now because I am shaken. That is a dirty 20. 20. I think that's enough. That is, no, it's one higher than what you needed. It was Ooh. a DC of 19. All right, so you... Um, you, you any you, weaknesses? So this thing is a fear gaunt, a creature native to the Dreamlands. You read uh, a journal entry about this creature from Count Lowell's. He had encountered one on his, on his journeys. Um, mm. Yeah, he details that it, the thing was incorporeal and it took magic attacks to kill it. Uh, mm. You, he notes that it struck down several of his traveling companions with greater ease when they were in a state of being frightened of it. Um, implying that its attacks will be worse against you if you are shaken. Ooh, um, okay. As for weaknesses, uh, he, he, uh, he details that it, it can fly as well. Uh, it's uh, not, not bound yay. to the ground. Um, right. And it, it could also... It seem, seemingly, it could teleport. It could smell the fear of people afraid of it and could uh, teleport after them if they tried to escape. Shit. As, as far as you okay. can remember, Laos didn't detail any weaknesses. All right, well, I'll Besides the fact share that, this. Well, I guess magic is a weakness, because, yeah, it's mm. Yeah. I will, um share all this information with everyone um uh, I am so not uh... all right I'm going to take a small or how far away do I have to be for this 15 feet okay he's going to push up to here mm-hmm um, reaching into his pouch, pull out a small bottle, uh, bottle, uh, uncork it, throw it in his mouth, start chewing, and then spit at the creature. He needs to do a DC 15. Um, which says DC 15. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It just says functional save. Um, I'm doing uh, adhesive spittle. So okay. once during the creature's please. spell. It would probably. be reflex, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, it got a 27 on its save. Yeah, yeah no, that's enough. Yeah, so it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah your adhesive spittle sails past it. It goes bloop into the water. Mm. That's it. And uh, I guess that's... Oh, and as a swift action, he's going to study the target. Okay. I'm like, it's your turn. Double bomb, baby. Bubbustic. 16. 16 is a miss. I will roll the scatter. Don't land here, please. Doesn't matter if it does. Oh, that's right. Precise. Yeah, he's got precise bomber. Precise boom. Uh, 
It flies past and goes bloop into the water. Unfortunately, roll your second Ooh. bomb. How many do you have? I have many bombs. I have nine left. Oof. That's a lot of bombs. Well, I keep That's missing the search. That's it. That's me. Ah, right. Uh, yeah, that is a miss. Um, but I will uh, scatter. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also flies too far. You arc it straight over, and it goes bloop into the water. Round three, Bathus. You see the blood wind speeding and catching up to the cell and starling. What would you like to do? Uh, first, I let everyone know that that is happening. Um, that it is getting close, and then I'm going to do another lightning ball. Uh, and I figured out the DC for that as well. Um, specifically with one of the feats I have uh, for choosing a, when I'm doing a multi-targeted spell. Yeah. Uh, I can pick one target and it makes the DC for that 19. Okay. So you're throwing another fireball? Lightning ball? Yep. Yep. Alright. DC 19, saving throw. You got a 32. Just. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Very damage. All right, it takes damage. Lightning washes over it. It continues to thrash around. It looks up at you in rage, Balthus. It lunges. I the back. Hey. <laughs> no. Okay. Come on. Uh, Aifa, you could take an opportunity attack as it zooms over your head and away from you. Absolutely, would like to do that. That's a 28. That is a hit. Roll. Oh, you got... There is That's the damage. Nine, nine damage. damage. Yep. Uh -huh. Can I take an attack of opportunity? Uh, it zoomed over your head. Is Yeah, it, it, it like ascended over Aether's head. It went higher. So where it is now... Oh, yeah. What's the move speed? Because I'm like at least 60 feet away. Uh, you're right. It, actually, it has a movement speed of... 40, so it double moves to get up to you, Balthus. And it is now 60 feet in the air, engaging Balthus. Hey, Fred, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn now, is it? Um, I have a question for you, Josh. Yes. I have a first level, level Rangers spell called Handy Grapnel. Mm -hmm. Is it magical? Uh, if it's a spell, then it's magical, yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, and... Okay. I'm going to uh, sheath my sword. Unlimber my bow. Uh, take aim at this thing, and I would like to fire my arrow at it, fire an arrow at it, and at the same time cast Handy Grapnel. Which, uh, would cause uh, the arrow to become a grapple, uh, hook when it strikes, uh, once it's struck. And right. I can command as a move action to get a rope, uh, spring out to it, from it to my hand. I'm just wondering if that would actually hit or not. Because it says you can cause a target. Right. Robot, which you can shoot at any with a successful attack roll. The handy grapnel strikes and embeds itself in that object with the strength of an iron grappling hook. As a move action, command the rope to extend from the arrow if you're within distance equal to the... Alright, yeah, no, roll the, roll the hit. Alright. This is spicy. Uh, roll on one. Has a 17. That is a miss, unfortunately. It flings past. Uh, yeah, and just go arcs real high and disappears into the distance. So. Yeah, okay. Really liked the idea though. Uh, Damn roll, it! Roll a will saving throw, unless you have anything else you want to do. Uh, can I do it again with a second attack? Uh. No, oh, no, because you're, because you're casting a spell, cast, yeah, is your action, yeah. 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 
for that. That's it, then. Alright. Well, will saving throw I'm for just going to pull, pull up my sword and then put my bow away. Because okay. that didn't work, obviously. Uh, come on, run another 20. 22! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are... You're just stalwart you against want. this thing. Gideon, it's your turn. So lucky. Oh, my God. So oh. lucky. Gideon can literally do nothing. I have... <sighs> He's built to know about these things, but he, he's not uh, smart enough to actually be able to combat these things. Um, he is going to make his way upstairs, so I can't five foot step through the wolf, can I? You can just move through his space. But can I take a five foot step? Oh, he was, he was also going to move. The he was also going to move. The wolf's not an enemy. He's friendly. No, but I'm take, but taking a five foot step. Yeah, the thing is, I, 60 is feet in the air, he can't opportunity 60, attack. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I did not know yeah. he was 60 yeah, yeah. feet in the air. Okay, Spells then I go ending. over and I pull out a extract of Cure Light Wounds and smash it over the back of Aether's head. Ah, oh, what the fuck? It dipped oh, oh, that's wait, actually wait. quite nice. Yes, it should be. <laughs> um, uh, so that is 1d... What was that? 1d8, is that? Yes. 1d8 plus my level. Yeah, you roll it. Is it do, is it light? Uh, cause it's 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 uh def ah max of five. So yeah, take two if it's cure light wounds, it's max of five. Take two off that. So ten. Uh, so ten. Nice. Yeah, so I smash her over the back of the head for two two healing damage. Ten. Ten. Well, no little hundred, just ten. Yep. Alright, and I'm uh, like, it is your turn. turn. That's all I can do. Uh, I cast levitate. Oh, yeah, I cast levitate on um Afa. All right. Uh, oh, shit. so uh, you can now what? move up or down twenty feet per round. Doing so is a move action. Hell yeah! And a fly check, isn't it? Uh, uh, no, because she's magically propelled, so uh, yeah, she doesn't have to make the fly check. You do have to. You do have to maintain your height, though, I believe. Mm, no, you can't. No, because no, it's oh. yeah, it's levitate spell. She's yeah. not actually flying, so. Alrighty. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of fly. That's why. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking of the fly. I'm spell. thinking of fly. Yeah, ignore me. Right, cool. Cool. And I don't think I have any. I oh, know. Right. Round four, <laughs> Balthus. I. Uh, it's right on me, isn't it? It is. Yes. I would get an opportunity attack if I move. Uh, how close is the red ship now? Uh, it looks like it's roughly uh, less than 15 seconds away from uh, getting into boarding range, if that's what they're planning on doing. That means we've got doing. less than three rounds to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Do I... Well, not provoke an opportunity attack, but I do I suffer any disadvantage if I were to fireball that ship instead? Uh, it is. What's the range on fireball? 400 feet. 400 <laughs> feet. All right, uh, it is still out of range. <laughs> it is roughly... Um, Oh, sorry. Actually, it's uh, it's more like seven hundred. The range? Because it, it's yeah, it's four hundred plus forty per level. Okay, I'm gonna say it is in range then, so you can fireball yeah. at the ship if you like. That's exactly. Do you what have I'm to doing. cast offensively? Uh, he can choose you can not take to. take a five, he can a either, five uh, foot step? Question mark. Oh yeah, you can five take a yeah. flap. Yeah. You can take a five foot flap back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's okay. And not provoke an opportunity oh, attack and then unleash your fireball if you like. Can we discuss now to call it a five foot drift instead five of foot drift. five foot drift? Yes, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I like yes, that. That's I like that. Foot that's drift drift fight. All right, yeah. agreed. Done. Agreed. Done. Yeah. Point of order. All right, but yeah, Balthus, if you're lucky, <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Yes, please, I do that. So five foot All drift right. first, I guess. Yep, so Balthus drifts five foot carefully out of reach of the fear gaunt and then unleashes. A, is it a lightning fireball? Uh, I'm going to keep this one as fire in case it actually sets something on their ship alight. All right, cool. Uh, so you unleash this fireball. You see it home in uh, on the point you designated. Uh, it explodes up above the deck of the Bloodwind. You hear screaming 
you hear like screaming and just commotion there's an explosion you see like guys getting tossed around and running you see guys on fire patting themselves out um i'm gonna roll the damage when they if the if and when they arrive um when there's tokens and shit um so okay. we'll just remember that yeah i will hold that in there right, roll a will saving throw for me balthus will saving throw that's not my strong suit gosh 13 I'm guessing 13 doesn't pass it doesn't pass you are now shaken right oh am I still fatigued in this world you are yes you maintain the fatigue condition Anything mental carries over between planes. Yeah. All right, the thing closes in on you, Balthus, and makes a tormenting touch attack. Oh, it it got a it got a one. It rolled a one. Critical miss, <laughs> Balthus. It's uh, just yeah, it just comes ooh. at you in a weird, awkward way, and you manage to just zoom under it and fly around with some mad aerial acrobatics. A5, it's your turn. I'd like to ascend. Cool. Sword drawn. Uh, do you want to double move so you get you ascend 40 feet? Yes, I would. Alright, sweet. So you are still 20 feet away, but you are getting close. Yep. And you are shaken now, aren't you? Or have you kept passing? Nope. Alright, roll a will saving throw. Oh, 17. 17, you are now shaken, unfortunately. Uh, now it's doing super damage to everyone. It hasn't actually struck anyone yet that is fatigued. It hasn't managed to. Uh, uh, sorry, no, not fatigued. No, no, shaken, shaken sorry. Uh, okay, so now... Gideon. No one. Alright, how far away is this other ship? I... Uh, it is. Mm. Let me just check real quick. That's right. Sorry, I love this track. It is roughly 400 feet away. All right. Yeah, there's there's nothing that Gideon can do right now. He's just gonna hold. I like the only thing he's gonna be able to do is possibly perhaps attack these oncoming pirates as they come close to deck. So, so it yeah. looks like they're preparing to come up on the starboard side. All right, Gideon is gonna go on this side. He's gonna take out his crossbow. He's gonna load it, put it up against, um, put it up against that. Uh, like I would presume is there like a banister or something like that or like a um yeah there's like taking yep. people from falling off okay yep. yeah he's gonna load that put that there he's gonna start putting he's basically preparing for an attack yeah. from the other you ship can even duck cannot... you could you could duck behind it to, to get partial yeah. cover as well I'll duck behind and start preparing for the ship to come up and that's pretty much all he's gonna be doing until he is ready because I have nothing okay yeah right. Heimlich is your turn uh I'm going to drink my alchemical allegation your in, um your uh yeah your it basically hulk, gives me your like, hulk boy no no no, uh, so no, no this, this is... yeah this is a really cool extract he'll drink it and then whatever extract he drinks afterwards he's gonna spit back into its ah, bottle ah yeah and he gets he yeah. gets to drink it and somebody else gets a copy of it yeah. really cool yeah. cool uh, is that all is that I a swift believe... action to do That's... that no, it's just uh, one standard. action, which yeah. sucks balls. I'm I don't think I have any swift action spells. Um, what's cool? You can't study target or anything like that? Oh, no, you're an al alchemist. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, alchemist. I don't think I can do anything else. No, right. that's me. Balthus, it is your turn. I'm going to do another fireball at the ship. Okay, sick. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, going to assume you float five feet back again. Oh, yeah. Cool. 
And uh, you turn around. Uh, is this another fire fireball? Yeah. All right, you unleash a... S How many fucking spell slots do you have? <laughs> <laughs> that is my last uh, level spell slot. <laughs> oh, man, four fireballs. All right, you unleash... Uh, your s a second fireball. There's another explosion aboard the deck of the blood rain. More screaming. You see one man uh, dive overboard in an effort to put the flames out on his clothes. Like Wilhelm screams over the edge and it splashes into the water. More commotion on board. Do they seem? Do they seem corporeal as all this is going on? Um, they seem corporeal. They seem like real boys catching up fire. I really and hope. I really they hope that alive. ship is friendly. <laughs> Least, I don't think we have a chance. We're here to help with the fear god, guys. <laughs> yeah, and this sorcerer. Escape, Balthus. Go, go. Right, um, the thing floats. The fear god floats after you once more, Balthus, uh, and attempts another the swipe touch. at you with its tormenting touch. This is yes. a hit this time. It's a 33 to hit. Uh, but Ooh. another abysmal damage roll. You take 18 damage. Uh, that's that's abysmal. Not too, it's not too bad. 18 damage, and because you are shaken, you are affected by the tormenting touch in a deeper way. Mm -hmm. Slash roll. Bit of wisdom damage. Why not? No, <laughs> even worse for a sorcerer. You take one charisma, charisma damage bleed. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait, no. wait, wait. Let me just check the keyword here. How do you cure it? Yeah, it's, it's charisma it's bleed damage. Uh, it, can, it says the bleed damage can be stopped as normal, so it's the same oh, okay. as you would stop normal. He bleeding. doesn't have to try and, like, chat someone up. No. <laughs> as a bandage. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you, would, has to tell him. you would continue to bleed 1d2 charisma each round until you stop the charisma bleed. Jesus. Okay, and it doesn't... Does the first value of it take effect now? Yes, so you just like you just took one charisma damage. Damage, Oof. not drain. Okay. Aoife, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna move and attack. Uh, can I only take one attack action this turn because I moved? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna still flying up sword aloft i'm gonna take a slash at its legs uh has an 11. uh that's abysmal you get plus two because you're flanking but still not enough uh you f yeah you swing too wildly and Ooh, miss you don't happen to have outflank do you balthus he doesn't though he has no teamwork feats yeah he's no team player yeah, I'm in the air 60 feet, casting fireballs because I don't have teamwork feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's my turn. As it is. Idiot, it's your turn. Okay. Josh. Yes. I've got a question for you, mechanics wise. Yes. If when we come into this place, it's considered like per second, an hour, or whatever. Right. If I was to... Assuming you're in the dreamlands. Assume, assuming I'm not in the dreamland. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Before I enter, I drink my extract of great Kratz Grace, do the enchantment, fall asleep. Do I wake up with it? Because everything I take with it counts. Uh, like, do uh, I no, wake up only... with that condition? Oh, yes, you, you would, but it would wear off in the same amount of time. Ah, <sighs> like, yeah. Um, okay, I was just wondering if I can extend that, uh, we'll say, over, that Gideon, hour over however many. Yeah. Roll a perception check for me. <laughs> Sorry. You throw something at me. Go on. Um, ten. Ten? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you notice something one. out of position that isn't usually there for the Zell and Starling. There's a mm. large chest resting against the opposite side. Okay. Just below the um Just below the railing. Okay. <gasps> I go over and open it. As a as a as a move slash move action, I will dash over and open it. Inside it seems to be a collection of objects. 
familiar to you. It seems to be everything that you've found in the Dreamlands. You didn't wake up this morning with any of your Dreamlands items on you. They're all in this chest, mm. everybody's. Anything you found right. in the Dreamlands is in this chest. God, what have we found in the Dreamlands? You see uh, the, the rusty scimitar that you found in the <gasps> Caravanserai. There's the, mm -hmm. uh, the Heartstone that you got mm -hmm. from the Hag is in there. I'm not sure what else you guys have found. Um, not much else. I pull out that scimitar. I pull out my scimitar going, yes, this will help. Yes. I turn around and look and I realize it's 60 feet up. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, <laughs> that's, I don't know what else to do. I think that's, all right, well, I've got the scimitar on me. So okay. that might be able to do something if it comes down to my, if I bring it down to my level. If it comes down to my level, I will be able to. So I'll just sit and wait, I guess, for the moment. There's not much I can do. I've, I've got, I've got the scimitar. Just waving around the, uh, I've got, there's uh, the hearts here. I can't remember what else. Like this. <laughs> yes. I'm like, it's your yes. turn. Uh, so he, like, how far is this, uh, this boy above me? 60 feet. Yeah, well, fuck that guy. So I'm gonna just vomit a swarm of uh, wasp onto right, the deck. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna need. Don't worry. Um, just pretend you don't have that spell, and we'll choose a new one because summons are just too hard to deal with at the moment with your lab and shit. What's but, up? I was gonna vomit three swarms of fucking things into the deck. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. All right, well, then uh, I'll, I'll say that uh, instead of that swarm, I have another levitate, and I drink the levitate. Ooh. All right. So am I going to be the only guy hanging out with the dog on the deck? Uh, I, whoa, 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 no, I had my chemical allocation. I have another levitate now. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I take that back. So it's just gonna be me on the deck and the dog and you lot flying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, all right, so I drink that. Well, hold on. Oh. I drink that and I run over to uh, Gideon and pass over my uh, second levitate. Right. Ah, excellent. I'm a real boy. I fly. I'm a real boy. Alphys, it's your turn. Can I do my drift backwards and then move without? Yes, you just can't. Track? You just can't take a standard. You have to use your standard action as a move action. Yeah, I I want to do that. Okay. Does the five foot step take up a move action? Yeah. 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 If you're, the that. only time it's free is if you're taking a full round action. Then you can take a five foot step for free on your turn. That's right. Yeah, yeah. If you take a full round action to move. I'll do that and then fly over kind of towards Gideon. Okay. Are you going lower or? Yeah, yeah, I'm descending kind of a bit as well. Okay. How far, what, what? Might you uh, like as much, like, I'll go kind of diagonally from where I was at and get as close to Gideon as possible. I think with the drift, I wouldn't have enough distance. Yeah, to I'll just and walk. put you at like 10 feet above. Sure. All right, well, it turns around to pursue and sees Aether right up in its face, so it attacks uh, uh -oh. Aether. Yuck. Oh, Balthus, um, subject to your bleed. Let me know what it is. You bleed one more charisma damage. That makes me one negative modifier. Aether turns around and makes a tormenting touch attack at you. Oh my lordy, it's rolling a crit. Rolling to confirm. Well, no, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine in this world, remember? Wait, no, you're going to become melancholy. Or it has critically broccoli. hit. Oh! Better throw that sword my way, boy. Don't worry, it'll fall. It critically hit you for... Oh no. And... Oh! And you're spooked! Fuck. 
critically hit you for 38 damage, A4. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. This is pretty bad. What about? You're also bleeding charisma. Hmm. So 38 damage? 38, yeah. And you bleed one charisma damage. So I put that as a condition? A... What have you guys been putting... What's the drain up here under? Did he um, up I've got it under... Be under the same menu. Temporary adjustments. Temporary yeah. adjustments. Temporary, temporary adjustments. Yeah. But make yeah. sure it's damage, not drain. Yeah, make sure it's damage. I think there's drain. bleed in there. Is there bleed? There's no bleed. That's right. You can do that. As is. Ability score drain. No, not drain. You want ability score damage. Damage. Oh, We've okay. got drain. Damage. You've got damage. Yeah. And then it is Aper's turn. All right. Uh, let me just add this. Uh, so it was charisma, did you say? Yeah. Uh, that is value one. Alright, I will, now that I'm next to it, I can make two attacks against it. Oh. Okay, let's go. Ooh. How's a 24 to hit? A 24 is definitely a hit for 14 damage. No, 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 is no, no, right? no, no, no. Just, oh. no, no, no. I'll, I rolled both the attacks, attacks at the same time. Ah, gotcha. Uh, six damage. Six damage. Uh, and I'm assuming a 14 doesn't hit, right? Ah, the other attack does not hit, no. Alright, uh, and then I'll take a five foot. Uh, five foot drift away. No, I can't do that because I did my both my attacks. So that's my turn. You guys gonna help or what? Just, just one second. Gideon, it's your turn. Now, Gideon is going to grab one potion from his hip, pop it open, drink it. He has drunk alchemical alkyl 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 allocation. Drunk the thing, yeah, allocation. He's drunk that. Um, am I able to drink the potion that was given to me as my other action? Just leave it. No. Damn it. All right, I'll leave it. It's like a chemical allocation specifically says that yeah. the next next sucks or next round. All right. Yeah. Um, and I will say it looks like the ship. The Bloodwind is going to pull up next round. Okay. Alright, he will get Levitate ready to go next round. And cool. Alright, I'm like, it's your turn. Uh, Alright, so do I know that uh, either of these guys are bleeding? Like, as in, like, can I. Like, would I have noticed this or, you know, understood this in any way? Otherwise, I'm going to ignore it. I mean, Balthus is right next to you. I'm sure he'd convey to you that he's fucked up. Yep, okay. Um, yeah. Do I know whether or not this thing is undead? Uh, it is not undead, no. Um, Gideon identified that before. Cool, okay. Uh, Alright, how fucked up does uh, Balthus look next to me? I'm almost bloodied. Alright, I, uh, I cast Cure Serious Wounds. That's my first thing. Right. So you, is... you you have you um you're levitating, aren't you? Yep. Okay, sweet. So yeah, you just have to levitate up ten feet first. Uh, wait. I'm gonna. Like, all I have to do is touch him on the way. So basically, I'm like yep. you know flying past my, my maximum height to twenty feet. Yeah. And then as I do, I touch him on the way. Cool. So three d eight plus eight. Uh. Okay. That's pretty plus... good. Eight. You heal for, oh Ooh! baby, thirty down, thirty heal. Yeah, 30 that's, heal. that's pretty, pretty good. Hey, you're also not bleeding anymore. In of the as in you've you've now been cured of your charisma drone. Uh, does that restore lost charisma? I don't know. It uh, does not. 
Uh, stop it at least. Yeah, you need the restoration spell to restore ability damage. Okay, but yeah, it stops there. Yeah, any yep. spell that cures hit point damage stops bleed, so your charisma bleeding has stopped. Perfect. Thank you uh, very much. All right, the blood wind pulls up into view. It indeed seems as though the sails themselves are just coursing with blood running down them. On board, uh, I would say how many are on board, so I'll work out how many Balthus fucked up first. Uh, Do you want me to roll damage? Oh yeah, yeah, roll damage for both your fireballs that you unleashed on them. And I'll roll a torrent of... Oh, oh, fucking saving throws. Oh. <laughs> <Jeez>. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. I mean, the first one was below, second one was above. Actually, no, they're both below average. Could have been worse. I recognize pirates. Spooky boys. The fuck is that thing? Oh, got to, uh, one sec. Alright, uh, bear with me while I roll a lot of reflex what? saving throws. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Alright, it was DC 19, correct? Yes. Alright, so this is uh, only like... only for one of them, all other ones. So for each fireball, only one of those mobs will have the DC nineteen. Okay. For I'll, I'll just apply it to the first one. Wait, alright, well so we have uh where does that go? That go. Boy. Spicy. There's uh, a lot of damage to apply. Uh... Alright, so I've applied the damage from one fireball. <laughs> uh, eight more saving throws. Crew, this size of size, this this size of a crew, for the size of the ship, unlikely. Oh, you Guys, can see the ready? the oars down below moving as though there is a, a large crew manning the oars below deck as well. All right, another minus nine. Oh no, yeah, it's different damage. What was it? Thirty-one for your second one. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, in that case. Six. All right, uh, minus 31. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Uh, Where's the guy that jumped off the ship? That was him. Okay. Balthus <laughs> yeah, wrecked these guys. I'm glad I have you, Balthus. Yep. I'll do the thinking, you do the exploding of the pirates. Sounds good. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, you saw one guy dive overboard. You could see one charred corpse just laying on the deck. Blood wind that rolls up. You see a multitude of burnt and singed sailors on the edge. Very rough, grizzled looking guys, all armed to the teeth. You see most of them have multiple melee weapons strapped to their various belts and bandoliers, as well as brandishing some ranged weapons like javelins and crossbows. Standing up on the elevated area at the front, you see what appears to be uh, Gideon, one of these denizens of Lang, uh, a man wrapped in leather clothing with uh, sort of decorated with all sorts of finery with the look of a captain about him. Oh, He's wow. singed oh. and smoking and he looks absolutely shitty. And next to him, mm. what appears to be some first mate or, or bosun, uh, don't have an image of her, uh, but she she appears to be levitating uh, rather than legs. She, her lower half of her body seems to vanish into a uh, sort of fade into a, a wispy, drifty mass. She seems to be incorporeal, but she's dressed in the manner of some sort of, of officer. He, the denizen of Lang, you assume is Captain Vadrak. You see, he is we indeed wearing a large, decorated tricorn hat. Points his scimitar over at your boat. Leave! None alive! <laughs> there is, uh, uh, in unison, all the uh, the pirates um, aboard the railings preparing their weapons all start yelling out, Yo -ho -ho -ho! <sighs> Yeah. Add all these boys. Oh, I lit one sentimental. Uh, the one uh, at the very front bow of the boat lobs a javelin at you, Gideon. Fuck off. Where's your damn javelin? Wherever you damn left it. to enable a script. That's okay. <clears throat> now. Do these guys seem to be affected at all by the... Uh... The aura? Yep. That's what I was thinking. They do not. <gasps> mm. Treachery. Suspe you suspect that they're in league with this thing. What? In cahoots. In cahoots. How we doing? Here it comes. Javelin, big javelin. A, a two to hit. It sails past you, Gideon, yep. and thuds into the deck. Balthus, it's your turn. <laughs> um. Well, considering there's more of them now. Uh. Oh, I know what that means. 
Yeah, I'm going to create a aggressive thundercloud. All right. Um, An aggressive one. Yeah, and I'm going to put it here. It's only Ooh. got a five feet diameter, but it will hit both of those guys. Five um, feet diameter or radius? Diameter. Okay, it'll just be in one square though, so it drifts over oh, one right, guy. Yeah. Yep. Um, so... Small upset cloud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It um, does electricity damage. <clears throat> I can move it as I want. Yep. Um, uh, 3d6 point damage. Deals to those, it has a fly speed of 20 feet with perfect maneuverability. It enters a space. Storm starts moving around. 3d6. Alright, so roll your 3d6 electricity damage. He will roll a saving throw. Ooh. Better than average. It's failed his saving throw. Balthus, your aggressive thundercloud wisps across the gap between the shifts, collides with this dude in the chest. He already looked quite beaten up. He had burns all over his uh, bare skin. This thing collides with him. He, he just kind of like topples forwards over the over the, the barrier and boosh, into the water. Perfect. I'll fly up another 10 feet then. All right. So you'll be at 20? Yeah. All right. All right this guy here mobs javelin at first ground target you can see which is Gideon I'm the only ground target apart from the dog <laughs> woof a 20 to hit Gideon uh, uh, yep I'm AC's 15 at the moment so yep uh, you take 6 piercing damage as this dra javelin strikes you. I think I'm just under half now. Alright, uh, the uh, Fear Gaunt in combat with Aifa. Another no. tormenting touch. A uh, 31 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm gonna go down. You take 20 damage, A4. Ooh, boot. Is that enough to knock you? No. No, you're still up? Alright. Bruh. Uh, is then your turn, A4. Um, Alright, uh, I would like to attack uh, once. Do I need to declare that I'm like setting to attack before I do my both the attacks or? Uh, Kinda, yeah. I mean, in case you want to make your other one another target. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you don't have to know, you can just make them one at a time. Alright, I'm just going to attack once then. Has an 18. That is a miss, unfortunately. Alright, uh, and then I'm going to cure light wounds twice on myself. Can I do that? No, you can't. Or just once. Yeah. Same. You've, you've, already, you've, you've used your standard action. Oh, you've only got one or two standard action, true. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, <laughs> GG. I'm Dan. It's, it's an action. I thought it was a um, bonus action. Uh, you, you thought it was uh, one? You want to make your I second thought it, attack? I didn't think it's a full action. Yeah, I'll make my second attack. Uh, roll two. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, if you take your standard action to cast a spell, you can't make any attacks. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't realize it was a full. I thought it was different. Uh, full action. You take two charisma bleed damage, Afa. Uh, so that's in. So that means my charisma score is to by two. So it's dead down by three. Do you use that for any of your spells? No. Is that uh, anything? Mm, nope. Just your cheery <laughs> disposition. <laughs> you lose your Scottish accent. <laughs> Kid oh, no. Like, oh, no, I sound like Balthus. 
Gideon. Um, Gideon is going to drink the potion of Levotation. Yeah. And then pew, zoom over to the doggo. Ooh. Actually, I was going to say, can I... Are you, are you doing anything with something with my dog? I was going to say, can I uh, make it attack, but... It can't attack right anything right now at the moment. Is there anything between the ships, Josh? There is uh, a gap. He would have to jump it. Okay, don't worry. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Gideon? Uh, sorry, Gideon. Gideon zooms over there. And can you please allow me to apply a potion of levitation to the dog? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Everyone is That's levitating. Good. So if we all go all right. up uh, beyond 20 feet, no javelin can hit us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. That's that's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah, this is totally worth it. I like how this potion has swapped both of our mouths and now <laughs> in the dog's mouth. Uh, I am going to fly up a further 20 feet and eat a bomb at this boy. Boy. One bomba. Alright. Bombastic. It will be a long range penalty. Uh, wait, why? I'm uh, pretty sure thrown weapons have a range of 20 feet, and so it's negative two for each. Uh, and. I mean, if an 18 misses, it's gonna miss anyway. Okay, who are you aiming for? One. Okay, so that is. So I assumed it was going to be like kind of like more of an arc than yeah. anything because obviously it's going to drop down. Yeah, <laughs> but there's, st there's still range. long range penalties. So I your... also have. Uh, hold on, I have. Um, uh, that's it. Shit. Okay. Who's got Pythagoras' theorem to hand? What about it? Well, we know what the height of Heimlich is. We know what yeah, the distance uh, to that's, Heimlich is. That's to kind of what I was counting on to see whether or not like, it could just be yeeted, like, you know, that far, but then kind of like travel kind of like in the arc. It lands here and inflicts splash damage. What's your intelligence modifier? Four. Uh, splash damage radius is also 10 feet. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Get him, boys. You're a very splashy boy. Oh. All right. Yeah, the splash damage wafts over him. The two men and the wraith look quite <laughs> downtrodden. The two men are on fire. They're just kind of clinging to the edge of the deck uh, weakly. The Wraith as well just seems to have lost some of her gusto and seems to be... You see her uh, worriedly saying something to the captain. Alright, Sentimental over here. Uh, he draws a halberd and leaps, attempts to leap across the deck. I'm in the way. He makes a... He makes a straight dexterity check. I didn't realize he doesn't have acrobatics. He is just making a straight <laughs> dexterity check. He got an 11. He jumps 11 feet. Oh, just. He lands on the other side and then attacks with his halberd at Gideon. Yuck. And 18 plus... 18 hits, don't worry. Oh, okay, good. Alright. It's not great. It hits. Uh, you take four damage. Slash it at you with his halberd. Huff yep. does the same thing. He's also going to make a check to attempt to jump. Uh, 
jumps 14 feet is enough to clear it and he attacks the wolf with his halberd no he only just got no. the power to float to hit against the wolf, which I'm pretty sure is not high enough. I'm not going to do it. No. Ducks underneath. Where was... What? Not very impressed, Josh. Not very impressed. One of the men that was wounded by Heimlich's bomb weakly attempts to lob a javelin up at him. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, <laughs> the dice like stopped on the 20 for a brief second and then roll on to 8. Oh, what's your AC, Hybly? Uh, it is 12. Well, oh, he got a 12. Oh, come on, boys and girls. We got this. I believe in us. Uh, High Blake, you take five damage as a javelin that bounces into your leg. <laughs> Oops. Bless you. Uh, Sloppy over here does the same thing. Bob's a javelin at Heimlich. An 18 to hit. Uh, you take seven piercing damage, Heimlich. Malthus, it's your turn. I am going to fly up another 20 feet and cast Mirror Image. All right. Mm. Very good idea. Hi, uh, multiple uh, Balthuses. Is it 1d8? 1d6. Uh, it is 1d4 plus two. Ooh. I presume it'd be more if it wasn't for your charisma damage. Uh, no, it's just based on level. So, uh, caster level. Your cast level's more than two, isn't it? Uh, it's per three caster levels. Ah. Yeah, so only plus two. But I rolled four, so there's now seven of me. Holy crap. Uh, check this out. Oh! Dude! Nice. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Holy shit. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should learn Foundry and don't get stuck into Roll20 like me. <laughs> is that it, Balthus? Yeah, I mean, that's movement and spell. Alright. I'm assuming here he's gonna roll a check to jump the gap. Thirteen feet jump, he jumps over the edge. Uh, no one's a ground. Oh, only Gideon's on the ground. Fuck off. He attacks, attacks Gideon with his, uh, Halberd. A 22 to hit, everything. Gideon. You take seven slashing damage. I hate this place. It's ruined everything I was going to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fear to do. attempts to. Make a coup de gras on Afa. Not mechanically. Is Afa not, not mechanically. Yeah, she's drifting there on 3 HP. Ah, oh, gotcha. Go on, Afa. I believe you. You can dodge this. You're a good person. I have faith. Afa, what is your AC at the moment? 17. I think. Um, yeah. In? Yeah. Oh, she rolled 18 to hit. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, you take. Oh, I'm down. 23 damage. Whoa. Yeah, no, you're dead. You're not just down. That, that's. Well, how high is your crew? Uh, if you've got three hit points, what is. Oh, yeah, that? shit. You're yeah, dead. That yeah. takes you to negative con. A5. He's... You're not in the dream world anymore. He, uh, well, revealing that you are the dream world, because Afi, as he, well, <laughs> it's pretty obvious we, we, at this point, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> as, as his uh, yeah. tormenting touch passes through you, uh, he passes through your heart, you just go cold and stiff, and you plummet back to the deck, 
smashing into the wood with a splinter and you wake up in the material plane in your rooms with the other three sleep on the floor around you and the professor's <sighs> standing there sitting there taking notes fuck I don't know if I should wake him up or not Gideon uh, it's your turn yeah. okay Gideon is going to take a five foot step here grab her grab um Aether's plus two short sword if he can yeah that's fine landed on the okay. deck next door and then he's gonna go out this way with the rest of his head. and then yeah levitating I'm like, it's your turn. Double bomb. Double bomb. Fuck it, yeah. 11. That is a miss. And then he'll take oh. splash damage. Alright, lands. Yeah. Well, they also take splash damage. Oh, same with the second one. Still a miss. <gasps> As your first bomb explodes and the flames wash over the four of them, you see the wraith shriek. Yeah! She explodes uh, in a shower of Ooh. ethereal ectoplasm and flame and just splats onto the deck. And I roll the eight for the scatter for your other one. Two. It lands. Two and here. Let's start each of these boys. Three HP. They just scree squeal like little pirate bitches as your flames wash over them. <laughs> There's ch leave charred corpses on the floor just writhing around. See the uh the denizen of Lang looking up to you, you just scowling as he's sort of patting out the flames on his uniform. You I begin. <laughs> All right, the wolf is getting surrounded. What does the wolf do? It's getting alberted. Oh, yeah. It bites. The wolf, wolf bites. Wolf bites. Wolf would bite. Roll an attack for your wolf. This is back on your turn, Aphel. It can also levitate, by the way, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, 21 for an attack with the wolf and 9 damage against one of the closest dudes. That is a hit and a uh, big 9 damage. It lashes out at the one directly next to it latches onto the guy's leg it gets a free trip attempt i believe all a cmb Could that is right does the attack say the like edge? plus trip mm -hmm. uh but oh where does it say bite here oh yeah it says plus trip yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so roll a so CMB. combat maneuver bonus yeah roll or, a cmb for the or overrun is it free trip or is it uh, it's 15 free trip. it's free trip oh, okay uh, 15 versus this guy's CMD, CMD. which is 18, unfortunately. It doesn't manage to pull him to the ground. Did a heckin' lot of damage to him. Did enough to bat down. All right, the two men standing around the wolf both strike at it with their halberds. The one that's leg is latched onto just plunges his halberd downwards. What's the wolf's AC? Wolf's AC 18. is 18, apparently. 18. How much spicy health? Boy. How much health does he have? It has 28. 28. 28. All right, he takes 10 damage, now. and then the guy thrusts too wildly with his second one and misses. The next guy. Twenty-eight to hit and five damage on his first attack, and then misses his second Ooh. as well. Wolf is making a stand. Yes. He is on 13 health. See the, the denizen of Lang. He's wondering what he can do when everyone is flying around. Uh, oh, that'll do it. You see him untuck a potion from his bandolier 
and quaff it back. He sort of like pulls his uh, face mask down. You see this disgusting array of small tentacles and crab-like mandibles instead of a mouth. He throws the potion back. <laughs> and then makes a flourish of his hand and vanishes. Fucking Ooh. penis. At start of round nine. Balthus, you have initiative. Um, Fireball. I'm oh, unfortunately out of those. <laughs> fireball. Um, wait, sorry, sorry. Lightning Fireball. <laughs> Do you have one of them packed up your sleeve? No, I am fresh out. That's right. No. Oh. I might just do a classic. Get in the combat with them. <laughs> no. <laughs> I might do a classic magic missile. Ooh, Ooh. A, just a real classic magic missile. Ooh la la, on chante. Ooh. Yeah, magic missile. Oh, Omelette to magic missile. Five. Please tell me that your chef's French. <laughs> it's five different missiles, and I'm just going to send a barrage into the closest guy to, to me. Guy on the deck? Or... The... Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, do you want to send him one at a time? He's not looking too good, so just make one. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him one at a time. Alright. So roll your damage for the first one. The magic missiles, you don't have to make an attack. Oh, it's been a while since I did. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, don't grumble over this. Just do it. Oh. Alright, two damage. Or oh, three damage. Oh, oh, sorry, I got that wrong. Sorry, two, two damage, four. Da Wait, slow down. <laughs> two damage. Not going anyway. Fourteen so far. Minus one. Minus three. All right, so the five damage one finishes the guy off. He's like, <coughs> as these missiles collide into him, and he falls backwards over the rail and into the drink. That was all five anyway. Was all five? One, two, three, four. I can only see four. Yeah, there's only four there. Oh. Oh no, I can see five. The very yeah. first one underneath Balthus's 3d6 is 10 damage. Yeah. There's five there. Am I there's right. five there. There's no plus one on one of them. Yeah, oh, there's no right. plus one. What was that? Mm. That's so the first one was five, second one was two, third one was four. Oh, okay. Fifth. So I didn't get yeah, the first yeah, one for some reason. Ah, uh, you no, did. The first yeah. one was. Yeah. Anyway, there's there's one more. Right, cool. Uh, that's four. Sweet. And then your last one collides into the next guy, and he like, hits him in the side, and he shrieks in pain. Um, directs his attention away from the wolf for a second. Doggy style. Cool. And I will move my uh, stormcloud closer to him. How far can that move? <gasps> move. It's 20 foot, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it can just collide with him, so he's going to make a reflex saving throw. Uh, a7, roll your damage. Oh, you might finish this bullet off. And then it's going to, and then the big flying creature thing is going to be like, oh, I hate dogs, and attack the dog. Yep. Yeah, Not that, come for gubbing, that's, see? uh wrecks the dude your thundercloud as he's like distracted um your magic missiles caught him in the side then the thundercloud jumps ship hits him directly in the back and it's just like he just falls down convulsing on the deck in front that all about this uh yeah i'm a good distance away so i'm, I'm quite comfortable where i am all right the magic catches the attention of the fear gaunt Swoops down at you. His height being now 40 feet. Roll a. Yeah. Roll a will saving throw. Moving Alpha. 16. What is your, uh... 
your elven immunity do? Your racial immunity? Or... Uh, it is for saving throws against enchantment spells and effects. And what does it do? A bonus or...? Plus yeah, two. plus two. Okay, so add that to what you got. So 18. That takes you over the DC. He tried to cast Confusion of you, but your racial <laughs> saved you there. Yes! It finally did something, Balthus! Oh. Jared, we finally then, had, had it once. Woo. And <laughs> he, uh, it flies down into our uh, combat range with you and I'm Lick. Gideon, it's your turn. Gideon will drink his mutagen! So he drinks it and goes... It vibrates for a little bit as he just flies up to here. So, uh, 20 feet up. So he flies here, 20 feet up. Oh. Because that's, that's 30 feet. He's like... Bleh. And, um... Yeah, he still studied that creature, and he hasn't attacked anyone else, so... We're getting there, boys. Almost everything is set up for Gideon to attack. <laughs> He's like, he has this is the anime now. subclass. <laughs> yeah, this is the anime <laughs> subclass. <laughs> I've uh, done my monologuing. I've been I, dodging battles. I'm like, it's your turn. <laughs> Double bomb, baby. At the freak in front of me. Alright. It makes... Uh, 16. Makes an opportunity attack as you make your bomb attack. This is actually literally an episode of Dragon Ball Z. You've got flying people, yeah. shooting off fireballs. This is what high level D and D feels like. Um, yeah, it's low level Pathfinder. Uh, it hits you ba uh, with the opportunity <laughs> attack, Heimlich. You take twenty one damage. Okay. Fuck. And then what did you roll the hit? Team. That is a miss. We'll see. Ya. Well, you're 20 feet up too. Um, I would just say it explodes in the air. Uh, I mean, it still may hit the dude in the deck though. Wait, who are you aiming for? Yeah, this guy here. Okay. But the thing is, like, if it explodes on the deck, it'll still hit the guy on the deck with the, the radius. Ah, uh, not if it lands like here. Yeah, that's not. That's not the deck. Um, three. So it lands. Oh, no, wait, yeah. no. Good. Ah, oh, but. Uh, you can throw your second one. Second one's thrown. 19. Does it have compl combat reflexes? I'm uh, checking right now. It doesn't. Uh, uh, yes. 19 is a miss. <sighs> Fuck. What's the fucking point of this guy? Three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lands in the same spot, too. Fuck. Uh, the. One guy left in combat with the wolf. Attacks with his halberd. A 25 to hit. There. Wolfie takes 13 damage. Oh, uh, the wolf probably would have got an attack before that, but it does. Oh, that happen. is true. Yeah, the wolf, wolf make attack. Go, 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 go. Wolf make attack. Wolf make last stand. 16. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's a hit. This guy, these 16 guys, to hit. These guys are bullshit. Uh, what are we going to uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, he's got an AC of 18. Alright, it doesn't hit for now. Does he get a full round action or anything like that? Or for attacking? Uh, no, no it's, only, it's, one. A, it's only level 2. Bugger. Well, he can fly away. Yeah, he'll fly, he'll he fly away. Fly away is just something it knows feet. how to do without being pushed. <laughs> that is true, it can't push. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it starts to run away and accidentally climbs like in Peter Pan. Alright, uh, Wolfie is, is uh, struck for. 13. What did I say? 13. Yeah, 13 damage. That's enough to kill it. Knock it knock, out. Knock him down. Knock it out. Knock it out. Uh, he doesn't uh, have to die twice. And this guy moves over here. He's just standing on the deck looking up. Something 60 feet above him. Another one's 40 feet. He's trying to get it with his halberd. Arthas, it's your turn. I uh, cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> so you're mirror imaged, invisible, and flying. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> How we do? <laughs> and then I'll move my thundercloud over the guy on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here. Uh, he makes his. I like sorcerers. He makes his reflex saving throw. Uh, a six. Roll damage. Oh. Uh, it's. What? That's exactly what you need to kill. He's got nine HP. It, the thundercloud no. pursues him across the deck. He's sort of like running away from him. He's like, ah, 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 looks back and it just collides with him and drives him into the deck. Like, ah, 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 ah. And you die. <laughs> um, I think that's probably all I can do. Yeah. Oh, uh, alright. What's sec. So. I'm excited. I finally get to do something. And Ava's already dead. <laughs> yeah. It's like, alright, I've been preparing. It's looking good. I'm looking at my character sheet. I'm pretty oh, confident. Oh, Aoife, where, where'd you go? <laughs> Just, uh, no, I stole, your, I stole your plus two sword <laughs> already. I know you're down. <laughs> Scavenge. The fear gaunt, well, now that uh, Balthus is invisible, uh, turns to... Heimlich, Heimlich, make a will saving throw. Why is he invisible? He cast invisibility. Who? He's got like fucking eight mirage things. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like taking damage. Well, I'm gonna fucking die. 11. 11. Oh, it's confusion. As you gaze into the glowing purple eyes of this thing, it just makes horrible noise you see you hear another noise Heimlich from out of the deck below you bursts the Tatterman flying full speed at you with a cloud of yellow mists torrenting behind him he lunges at you roll a fortitude saving throw Heimlich oh, no. this is a spicy spell what? Confusion or? 17. No, this is a confusion. 17. I am like, you drop dead of fright. I'm what dead. the oh, fuck? Okay. You die from, literally die from fear. And just what? as the Tataman glides, it passes through you and you fall to the deck. The what? Fuck? All right, fuck the dreamland. Can we just commit suicide and fucking? It? It's just like holy shit! Oh my god! That is terrifying. You're literally a rabbit in a thunderstorm. You have like a heart attack because something so spooky is going on. Jesus Christ! All right, Gideon, it's your turn. Yes, finally, he's going to come up to here. He moves his 10 feet and goes up 20 feet as well. <laughs> um, he is going to now attack this creature. Now, because I'm flanking, I need to add that. It's the anime it's strike. Yes, it's, this is the anime strike, boys and girls. Uh, flanking. Add choice. Quantity one. All right. This is what it's become. All right, I get to do this attack. I've got the plus two sword. I have flanking, I have cat's grace, I am spooked up because of my juices, and I have my mutagen. I have a plus 16 to hit. Let's make this roll. Let's do it. 28 to hit. That is a hit. All right, now, first things first, I'm going to activate my studied combat so that's gonna add 2d8 to this roll i'm going to add 
an inspiration die, which is another D6. So that is three D6 plus the D6 from the short sword. So four D6 plus three from precision attack. So if this is all calculated well, I rolled, I rolled a six, five plus, yep, hold up. I'm meant to be adding, can I, there we go. No, you know, I'm gonna do it in here. It's, it's, it's easier if I do it here. One, two, three, four, plus one, two, three. All right, this is the damage. 20. 20. You plunge the Crimson Destiny into this thing. I did thing. something. Did something. 20 damage is huge. You levitate up. Your studied strike. You find a weak point. You plunge the Crimson Destiny <laughs> into the Fear God. It shrieks loudly in pain. Yeah! And begins thrashing around. Begins thrashing around wildly. It, it looks like it's one strike away from death. Like oh. it, it looks like it can be just tapped over. Balthus, it's your turn. Just do a small magic attack against it. It's gonna take me out of invisibility though. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> now, <Nice. laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, electric stone discus it. Oh, why don't you just like you imaginarily take, move the thing over there? Oh wait, no, it has to go. You want to like, take a five footer back? <laughs> it does not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah take a five button. foot flat back. Yeah, I'll do that first. And then I'll, uh, yeah, throw my discus at it. Got a hit. Come on, baby. Ooh, 17. That is a miss, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. Discus whizzes past it, past Gideon, and then off into the distance. No. Should have done magic missile. Yeah, you should have yeah. done magic missile. Yeah, you yeah, you should have done magic uh, missile. <laughs> it turns on Gideon. No. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep... right, let me see. How many spells has he got left? He's got, uh... is, is, there, is there a place? Gideon, <laughs> make a will saving throw. No. <laughs> <laughs> Five. <laughs> Gideon, make a fortitude saving throw. Hold <laughs> oh, no, this is a plus two this time. Nine. Oh, Gideon. <laughs> oh. So, your phantasmal killer, Gideon, <laughs> you look down onto the deck. You see a copy of yourself laying in the upright fetal position against the cabin, sucking his mm. thumb, pouring over indecipherable scribble inside a leather, a leather ledger. Oh, that's you, deep. you recall how you do not want to be in that position again. Draw mm -hmm. your crossbow and shoot yourself in the head. Oh. You die of fright. Balthus, it's wow. your turn. <laughs> I, uh, magic Just get the hat, Balthus. <laughs> Roll your magic missile damage, Balthus. <laughs> oh, how much hit points? Oh, no, I'll wait till... Please tell me it's dead now. Your first missile <laughs> collides. <laughs> Your second missile collides and finishes it off. Oh my god! Oh, How much would it mean that In a, a loud scream, it sort of rears around, oh. flailing its lanky limbs. <laughs> and it dissipates. As it does, the dark aura emanating around the ship seemingly implodes into it and vanishes. Uh, I fly down and get the hat if I can find it. Uh, the, the guy wearing the hat yeah. vanished. But Balthus at this point, as you fly down to the deck, you hear a voice from up in the rigging of the Bloodwind. You know what? I surrender! <laughs> you see, you look up, you see the denizen of Lang, he's hanging from the rigging. He has his scimitar out like he was about to lunge over and execute a mad sneak attack. But he's, uh, he looks down at the carnage in front of him, his entire dead crew. His first mate is a pile of goo on the front deck. Fear gone. There's also seven of them, mate. 
Yeah, and there's it's seemingly there's seven of this fucking Pal Emperor Palpatine sorcerer that just obliterated most of his ship. He just he takes off the tricorn and whizzes it over to the cellar starling like a frisbee. He's like, we did I'll just it. get another one. Again. <laughs> Cheers, mate. We did it. He slides yeah, yeah. down. He slides down the rigging down to the the steering wheel and just like spins it hard to the uh, starboard, and the blood wind pulls away. Yay! I'll uh, I'll don the cap mm -hmm. and then I'll concentrate to get on out of here. <sighs> I spit in Balthus's face. <laughs> 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 oh god that was fucked Balthus <laughs> before you leave do you want to look over anything else on the large pile of corpses of men that evaded your ship uh yeah actually if the other ship's gone I probably would check all the corpses here and see if there's anything good or useful or like a scroll of one of those things that would help me alright You know, you just pile. I'm just gonna say, is that you just pile everything together that you think might be useful, and then concentrate, and then leave. Because frankly, every, I think everyone that has detect magic and shit is dead. So, yep. Yeah. Just, I'd, I'd probably just grab anything of like even slight interest. Alright. So we'll back down next week. on the cell and Starling. You've each... If it's holding me back from stabbing fucking Balthus. <laughs> <We're> woke... <laughs> no! You've each woken up. Timely, what did he do? <laughs> so you wake up one by one, like screaming in, in cold sweats. Um, and then finally Balthus just kind of wakes up like he's just come out of a nice sleep. Oh, that one was a bit of exhausting, boys. Used up uh, most of my magic juice. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Yes, I did one attack! Single-handedly <laughs> killed two party members. <laughs> Not directly! <laughs> Wait, how did... How did he kill two party members? Well, he would turn invisible with like fucking seven mirage things around that uh, <laughs> this thing could have attacked instead. True. And then We're also didn't use the most simple magic missile after the biggest DM hit ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the thing is though, had Aifa landed one of her attacks, that thing would have been gone so much sooner. Yeah. Like, how many hit points was it left on when Aifa was gone? Uh, like, it would have been 24. When you attacked it, it was on, yeah, 23 hit points, Gideon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But uh, Balthus did work to that fucking ship. Like, he... Yeah. Was, uh... If it wasn't for Balthus, all those individuals... Because I was like, oh, there's individuals turning up. Gideon can... Sh was My plan was to get Gideon up in the end just shooting crossbows at everyone because yeah. he couldn't do anything to the creature and all of that stuff and then like, he would have just gone over after the um <gasps> captain like honestly, as soon as they started attacking him that quest line for the tricorn is fucking mm. hard you guys yeah. did really fucking well considering how hard it Surprise. is like, i was we actually I completed am, it consider me uh impressed because that was i didn't do anything yeah, until the very <laughs> final <fucking part>. <laughs> it's <laughs> all this <laughs> just comes right, this is what happens when you're a level seven fucking sorcerer long well, range artillery strikes let's, let's get, get back to the fun bit yeah so you all so you collect <sighs> yourselves squabble a little bit over balthus's actions in the fight balthus <laughs> defends himself and declares himself the mvp um, <laughs> I'm moving in for dead next time. Yeah. <laughs> and then you all, but Balthus, say, uh, obviously, uh, you'll convey to the guys that you recovered the tricorn. There's an, Denizen of Lang handed it over. And then you all go to rest for the night. So, there's a lot of things happening here. Um, Again. Let's. Do you just want to start with the madnesses you incur for dying, or do you want to start yes. with the curse? Let's get the madnesses, because that's more of us, and then the curses, I reckon. Yeah, the madnesses could affect the curse rolls, though. Let's do the curse well, then... first. <laughs> no, uh... Let's do the curse first. Would... Okay, 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 okay. The curse happened first, As anyway. So. The, well... Yeah, technically, like, you guys happened, went... You guys, technically... You went yeah. into the dream ritual after midnight. Um, 
Okay, let's, let's just do the curse first. Okay. So what's that? Um, a will saves. saving throw from Balthus and Gideon. Oh, not my strong suit. Oh, I have, have I to roll. We have to roll 21, yes, remember? You're, so I'm... you're at... Um, actually, your mental damage stays, so any bleed, charisma bleed you had uh, is retained, but your health is back to full. Um, yep. And your physical ability scores. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So it's a 21 we have to hit, right? It is a I 21. cannot hit this. I believe in you. <laughs> That's literally what, are you, what are you on? What are you on? I'm on exactly 10, so I have no plus to will save. I'm on minus... I'm on minus 2 and I've still got a plus 1. I've, got, I've still got like a plus 3. Uh, I mean, changes because you get you get a base bonus yeah. depending on your class as well. Yeah, yeah, sorcerers. That's all right. I yeah. rolled a six. Oh, all am right. I still shaken? Um, no, no, the shaken has worn off now as well. Get rid of that. Oh, I'm also not flanking anymore. Oh, and I still fatigued. You are still fatigued, yes. Mm. And you'll so you'll, I'm fatigued since now. you just failed. You will remain fatigued. All right, give me that value. All right, I'm at Balthus, three at the moment. I failed. You take two wisdom drain, Gideon. You take two wisdom drain. Now I'm gonna pull up my roll table. All right, so I am Lick was already <sighs> afflicted by a lesser madness. Gideon, <laughs> you were clean. You didn't have any madness, so you just get. I had lesser. no madness. And this is Sparta. Ifa, was already suffering a lesser madness. So, Imlik and Afar are, are copying a greater madness. Gideon, you're getting oh, a no. lesser madness. All right, go on, give it to me. What do I, what have I got, Doc? And where do I find them? <laughs> Gideon, you're now suffering mm. from hallucinations. Oh, again? That's boring. Give me some Imlik, you are suffering from full-blown schizophrenia. Damn. Afa, you are also suffering from full-blown schizophrenia. Oh no. So where do we find these again? Are they in... Uh, so you have to open the left sidebar. That's right. And then yep. adjustments. Scroll, scroll to the bottom to adjustments, modifiers. I believe. Uh, oh. It's either modifiers yeah. or oh, adjustments. That's right, right at the bottom, yeah. Permanent adjust adjustments. Is it permanent adjustments or temporary adjustments? Uh, could be either, I can't remember. But then look for madness or afflictions. Hmm. Is it madness or is it... And I'll have a look on my character sheet. Sorry. Oh, that's all good. It is hard to find. Like, it's like the one thing that's not under the usual adjustments. Very annoying. It is. So you go... Let me just check. Conditions and... Conditions, oh, and, conditions and states. Conditions oh, and conditions states. conditions and states. Yep. And then afflictions is at the bottom. Afflictions there. Yeah. And then scroll to the bottom to find madness. Lesser madness or greater madness, whichever you have. That's right. Yeah, I've got him loose. Yeah. I was wondering, I'm like, I swear I had it before. Okay, oh, I'll loose. Schizophrenia. Negative four penalty on wisdom and charisma based checks. No. Checks Whoa. not saved. Minus... Cannot take ten or twenty on any check. And a chance of coming becoming confused. Character okay. afflicted with schizophrenia can no longer function as he once did, dealing with sudden deficits in social skills and cognition, and an influx of new strange behaviors. The character becomes erratic. Chaotic and unpredictable as his affliction and symptoms continue, often hitting a peak of symptoms including hallucinations and delusions. Each time a character afflicted with this madness finds himself in a stressful situation, such as combat, he must succeed at a will saving throw or become confused for 1d6 rounds. Oh Fuck. my god. I rolled, I rolled a yeah. nat 1 to stab Balthus. So, <laughs> he's taking now. Oh, boys. Amnesia. Dude! Hold up a second. Mm. Am fucking Nija. Mm. I know this is kind of metagaming a little bit, but that's mm. eyebrows raised. Josh. Eyebrows Josh raised. Josh is Josh. Josh's keen DM moaning. 
I'm I'm making a link there. <laughs> With him going. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about the phrase DM moaning, but. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's just mm, moaning, dim, dim moaning. All right, well, I'm good game, guys. Uh, so you you yeah, wake up the next mo next morning and we'll work out what you get up to during the day of going crazy uh, next session. But before we go, uh, would you like to decide what you would like to like to quest after next? On the Mad right, Poets wish list? list. So you have the Night Hag Ambassador's Heartstone and the Captain's Tricorn now. I kind of really want to go for that red webbed foot. Can we have the list again? Yeah, it's up. There you go. Oh. <clears throat> Viscount signet ring, feline oh. tail, pur blue and purple motted fur, skull of a ghoul of ghoul royalty, greenstone idol of a water lizard, or a red webbed foot. I can't. I still. I really want to go for that red webbed foot. I don't know why, it's just just that one at the bottom that's not highlighted, it annoys me. <laughs> I'm happy to do that. Red yeah, webfoot? I, I like that logic. Other gentlemen? Sure. Fine. Let's right. do it. Red web foot. Next Monday, the red webbed foot. Oh, do you want some XP before we finish up? Let's get a bit of XP, mate. Ooh, a little bit of XP. Sure. A little bit of XP. A little bit of XP. A little bit of XP. Uh, 9,050, please. Oh. oh. Um, and... 9,050 9, would actually uh, solve a lot of our problem. Yeah. Do I uh, do I get more XP because uh, Fuck off. and <laughs> <Yeah>. were, <laughs> were dead when I killed so many things? Um, you'll be fucking. No, you get the same amount as me who did one hit. <laughs> hey, it was an anime hit. It was a very anime hit, but it didn't kill it. <laughs> it was close. Uh, You're three damage off. Oh, I was so upset. It's like all of that stuff, and I was adding it together, and I was like, right. And I was adding it all together, going, right, okay, now I know what I got. And then I looked up at my plus to hit, and I'm like, it's exactly that. And I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> all right Took boys, all that time. 6,000 XP each tonight. Oh, fuck. 6,000. Yes. Uh, journal. How the hell do I add this again? In Go the to the journal, the character journal. journal. Holy shit. Do you want to just apparate there next time and just fight them again? <laughs> They're already <laughs> dead. <laughs> They're already dead. Find another ship. So He's we're on 47. Has, wait, if we wait 24 hours, she has like... 47.50 is what I've yeah. got. Yeah. Yeah. 47.50. All right. Well, thank you for an enjoyable session, guys. Thank you for thank running you. for thank us, you. even though we all yeah. are about to die. Gideon technically can't get over this now. Well, I know he can. I've just got to roll a 19. I have to roll a 20. Why? I thought you... What, what do you want minus? What's your rule save? Uh, I only have plus one. So. Okay. Yeah.